And of course, guys, Mike Shack, one, two, one, two, two hundred city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all doing today? It's your boy, me, two hundred city, and we're live, and we are back into the no starter geysers planetary playthrough. The rules for this playthrough is simple. We can't use any of the geysers on the first starting planetoid that we spawn on. So our goal is to survive and then use the geysers from the other planets to help us out. This means that we're gonna have a lot of resources being sent back. And one of our goals is to make sure that the duplicates are living back at home. While we could temporarily go to places to get resources, we will try to automate the job so that we don't have to be there all the time. That way we could have a nice little playthrough because one of the things we are worried about is, well, we could just teleport to the second planet, right? And avoid the entire playthrough in general. But we, you know, aren't going to be doing that. And instead we should be okay. Now what's happening here? We are not pumping up water. Oh, there is no coal. So we have to send coal. And did we set this up? We did. Good stuff. So we do that and do that. And the sweeper should sweep. Yep, we got it. What are we fighting? What are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting these directors. That makes sense. Okay. My mealwood is dying because it's a little bit too hot. Classic stuff. So, hot mealwood. We need to start dealing with the heat. So the strat we're doing is effectively just, uh, you know, running a radiant pipe right here. Running the aqua tuner. And then we also need more power. We're not really generating a lot of power right now, so we need to set this up. Right now we're out of lime, and then we need to make steel so that we generate power. Right now we're not really hot enough yet to actually keep the aqua tuners running. Is that auto sweeper on sweep ball? Uh, so how you set it up is on the loader. This will always sweep, but it will only sweep if the priorities make sense. So that means that if no dupe is picking up the coal to use elsewhere, uh, the sweeper is going to be able to pick it up and put it into the loader. If the loader is filled up as well, it'll only grab enough to fill up the loader. So it's one of those things where this is going to sweep because the priorities make sense. But the second thing is I deny access here, so dupes can't come in. So it's going to slowly just do the job. Realistically, yeah, we should be getting coal. And then this is going to be powering this. And then we're going to get our water back nice. All part of the plan. So we're just doing this to automate the water to come through. We do have a wire here for the battery. It's kind of nice. We're just going to let the power just generate. My first comp was a Captain Ken or something like that. Oh, what the heck is that? I've never heard of that. Technically, my first was either Flyswatter on the Mac or Oregon Trail, but I don't count those. My first video game I played had to be at school. You guys remember doing those typing games? We would do the typing game, and then the second game we had to do was a geography game. We would learn the location of all the states in America and the capital for each one of these states. And we would have to like answer them like trivia questions. If you do both of those, we have this mini game, learning game with like a pink car, purple car. I forget the name of that game. I was so young. And then we would play that. It's like a bunch of mini games, but it's like spelling games and things like that. Things that are designed to help you learn. I don't know if you count those because I just don't remember the name of those games. It was a long, long time ago though. And then you randomly had Origin Trail. The thing about Oregon Trail was that it was hard. All of us kept losing. So it was one of those things where it was like, come on, man, none of us want to play this. <laughs> like, we all losing, man. What are we doing over here? Games at school. So uh, we had something called uh, Computer Lab. Computer Lab is effectively just, you know, because technology is coming out, right, and all that jazz. It was realistically just a means for uh, us to get more technologically advanced and, you know, use computers kind of more naturally. Yeah, it was Computer Lab, man. It's not games at school, it's learning games, but yeah, it's to get us familiar with the technology. Dude, there would be times, dude, where we would be like, hey, teacher, 
I know it's free time right now, but can we just go on the computer? <laughs> and the teacher would be like, no, go outside and play. And we're like, oh, damn. <laughs> that was the era where the teacher's like, no, man, just go outside and play, man. Stop playing on the computers. That's every time. Every time. Just go outside, man. What are you doing? Dude, just go outside and play. Yeah, man, that's everyone back in the days. It's either Germany or, or me being too old. I had none of those except the machine typing, learning how to write blindly. Ah. So this was back in the 90s. Uh, what I'm talking about right now. Everything I'm talking about was happening around the late 90s. I would say around 99. Now, of course, I went to public school, so a lot of the stuff I got was probably, like, a generation or two behind, right? Because it's, you know, they're just going to give it to us. I'm not talking about us as students, but us, you know, the uh, public school. So, yeah. Because of that, I know a lot of the stuff we did were uh, not technically up to date. Like, we even had phonics. You guys remember that? My teachers actually just bought the Hooked on Phonics and then just copy and paste it the book and that was the curriculum like they didn't really have to do much like public school teaching was literally just that so she, like we would go to class she would all you know hand out a printout you know, from the hooked on phonics book and then that was it that was our homework that was our classwork that was our summer school work for like elementary school <laughs> Like, we had, we had, like, yeah, man. I remember opening, I'm like, hey, teacher, this is the wrong year. This is, this is from a couple years ago. She goes, no, it's fine. It's, it's the same English we, we speak today. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Speaking the same English is cool. Okay, I got you guys. I had to go tutor someone's house. I had to do extra phonics. Ooh, you had to do phonics too, yeah. I went to public school, but it was a wealthy school district because of the nuclear power plant. Oh, wow. Had lots of nice stuff. Phonics is nice. But it could get you hooked if you're not careful. Yeah, man. They had, they had commercials about that, man. That's, that's what the D.A.R.E. campaign was for, right? So you don't get hooked on phonics. You gotta watch out, man. Drugs. Not even once. Okay, we got like five meteors coming in. And we're going back to this planet. It's not done. We need to finish this. So we need to add water, add materials... So we need igneous probably more often than not for majority of this. Uh, the copper will come from the inside. We got to do the rail, right? And then what else do we need? I don't think we need much. Oh, diamonds, because I want temperature plates in here. The diamond actually might matter. Or if I have cobalt or aluminum, that might be nice. There's no cobalt here, huh? That's actually kind of bad. I thought you would get cobalt on this planet. Apparently you don't. Oh, that's tough. I thought so far was yesterday. Am I having a Groundhog's Day effect? No, we never finished it. We never finished it. So what happened was was that we started the Sulfur thing, and it's partially built. But we uh, the first time we stopped by, it erupted on us and it blew up. So we had to wait like a stream. So on that waiting stream, we went to uh, this planet. We went here, set up the rocket platform, and then, uh, you know, the rover's inside. He didn't make it through, feels bad, so he's dead. And yeah, this is gonna be where we grab the metal volcanoes. We have a stacked volcano right here. We have cobalt, and I think it's gold. I still need to find the iron volcano, though. And Lord of Heaven, coming in with the 10 months, I see you over there. Thank you so much for the 10 months of support. But of course, thank you so much, Lord of Heaven. I see you over there, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Welcome back to the city, dude. Hope you enjoyed your stay. We had the max in computer lab. Like 19... Oh, dude, we had the max too. We had the fat max that had no computer tower. And it was just a giant CRT monitor. And the computer was built into the back of the monitor. Dude, I remember those, man. They were so heavy. Man, those that was back in the day, man. Yeah, man. The Sunday special ruined us. We did too many crosswords. But yeah, Hendo. That, that might be why. That might be why. Mama went to college. What did he choose in? He was... Uh, Mama chose... Uh, outdoor study. Because he was undeclared. 
and then he never made a decision on what he wanted to major in. Feels bad. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do, man. What are some unnecessary inefficient projects in Oni that I could do? Thought about taming a volcano, feeding igneous to hatches, hatch coal into coal gens, and feed gen carbon to slicksters. Oh, I see what they're talking about. So you want unnecessary inefficient projects. Do they have to be time consuming? <laughs> do they have to be time consuming? Hey, you went to college? Yeah, you did. Alpha, welcome in. I see you over there as well. So let's see. In this game, what could be a process you could do? And we're talking about a long refinement chain. Uh, technically, you could argue... But something fun to do. Okay, something fun to do. Have you ever looked into the ethanol line? You can technically make ethanol from wood. Well, no, I, that's the, that's the, that's the probably the wrong way to word it. I have heard of people trying to use wood to make a source of water, because technically you could go with lumber to ethanol, right? Arbor trees, you get the lumber that's made, and then you go to ethanol, right? You make that from the lumber from the ethanol distiller. And then after that, you would feed the ethanol to a petroleum gen. Which gives you a lot of power, because this is 2,000. And then you would get a lot of CO2 from both the ethanol distiller and the petroleum gen. So you feed that to the slicksters. And then you could do that uh, petroleum gen as a water. Because you get polluted water from this, right? From feeding it ethanol. So I've heard of people trying to do that long chain before. They would make a giant uh, lumber tree farm. I've seen a lot of designs. Uh, and they would basically wild plant it most of the time. And it'd be a large farm because it's wild. And then you would process that. You'd get a lot of polluted dirt, I believe, because the ethanol distillers, I think, drop that. Yeah, you get a lot of polluted dirt. Uh, you get a lot of CO2. And then you get ethanol. And then ethanol into petroleum means more CO2 and then polluted water. And then from there, you do something with the polluted water. Not sure if you want to do that, though. Not sure if that's what you're looking for. That's a decently long chain to go from uh, wood to water source. Oh, you've done that just for power. Not not for the slicksters or not for the water, though. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, if, you've, if you want something else to do, then if that's the case... People have talked about the sour gas boiler line, right? You do crude the sour to get natty gas and sulfur. That way you could actually farm your grub grubs that way if you really want. If you already done that, because that's actually something a lot of people would want to do. Uh, let's see. What would be another thing to do? Something fun to do inefficient though so efficiency doesn't matter i would imagine you've already done the fossil loop for technically infinite sedimentary rock i think that's how that loop works right so i don't think i have the fossil site anywhere uh there's a fossil chain where if you do the fossil chain story trait you could convert i think it's diamond into fossil and then that effectively means you never run out of sedimentary rock because every time you crush fossil into lime you get free sedimentary rock right as a result just because yeah you get free sedimentary rock 95 kilograms now, the thing is, is that you would do that for the lime, so you would get steel. Not sure if you would want to do that, but that's a chain. Because you would have to convert... Uh, so first you got to do a story trait. Then you got to get uh, diamond, I believe, so that you could feed it into the story trait. And then afterwards, you get fossil. Like, free sand from salt. Technically not as efficient, because free sand from salt is one-to-one. -one, right? 100 gives you 100. The fossil, the sedimentary rock, is 100 to 95. 
So you lose the five kilograms as lime. But it's like you wouldn't do this for anything else outside of lime anyways. So this is the lime loop. You would add in... So you could feed the sedimentary rock to hatches. Those hatches would give you coal. The coal could be used at the diamond press. And then that would give you diamonds if you have rad bolts. And then you would feed the diamonds to the fossil story trade to give you more fossil. And that would be the loop. So that would feed hatches. And then you would get that coal from that to do the diamond press. And then you would just uh, be able to feed stone hatches. I guess regular hatches as well because it's sedimentary. Pretty much as long as you keep the loop going. I want to say it's sedimentary positive. And that's it. And I think it's power negative because you feed the coal to make diamonds instead of using that for power. And you need the power for the rad bolts. But it does give you free sedimentary rock though. I don't know if you want to do that. That is another one that's more recent because it's story trade based. But yeah, outside of that, I wouldn't say there's a lot of long chains like that that you wouldn't already have done. Right? Like the ethanol one you've done, probably sour gas one. There's the uh, the geothermal stuff you've probably done as well. And then if you really want something to try to do, try to tame the late game geysers. Thermium. Is it thermium? Tungsten, I mean. Tungsten and niobium. <laughs> Those would be fun if you really want uh, something to do. There's the Tungsten Volcano, and then there's the Niobium Volcano. These are technically more difficult volcanoes, just because they hit a uh, slightly larger temperature range. I think this is 3,400. So that technically melts steel, I think. I forget. But uh, those geysers, if you haven't looked into those, might be something to uh, play around with as well. What's going on, G? Welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Hi, guys. We are charging. I've been waiting for this, actually. <gasps> the suits are charged. Oh, we could go? We're going back, boys. Oh, dude, I didn't set the bins, though. I forgot about this. Uh, I need to bring diamond, I think. And then a little bit more lead. I think I couldn't reach something with the power wire. Oh, I need the power in here. I have plastic, right? G coming in with the tier 3! 11 months of support, man! My god, I see you over there, G. Thanks so much for the tier 3 support! This guy's not messing around, man. Appreciate it, G. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna come in with a 2k lime right there. Welcome back to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. Enjoy the email up to 20 dice and free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Appreciate it, G. Thank you for the long time support. Yo, man, we were doing crosswords, and one of the uh, hints earlier was uh, climbing the El Capitan route without any ropes. <laughs> that was the hint. Yo, man, we could use some help for that. All right, we're just going to get some lead. We have the food here waiting. Most of this is 84%, which is fine. And then... Oh, I wanted more glass. That's right. 800 so let's go with 64 800 per no it's 200 per 200 per that means if i go a thousand that should be good i don't think i have glass anymore though i might actually have to make some thank you for the lurk sheet we'll see you in a little bit if i heat up polluted water into steam does it drop polluted dirt or dirt you get uh if you pollute water into steam you get dirt but you get less dirt than if you were to sieve it so if you sieve polluted water, you get 1% more dirt. It's 1% versus 2%. Something like that. It's 1% versus 2% or it's 1% versus 5%. It's low percentage either way, how much dirt you get, but sieving it technically gives you more. Because you get that polluted dirt and then you compost that. That's a higher actual percentage actually than uh, boiling it directly. But if you do, you get regular dirt. You get regular dirt. Not polluted, not polluted, just regular stuff. All right, so I don't have glass anymore because I actually removed my glass smorge. Ice meteors, those are fine. Cold water, I'm not even mad about that. You can feed it to your pokey shells too. That works, that works. Nothing wrong with that strat. All right, so it looks like... 
Hmm. Hey guys. Would you guys get mad if I cheesed something? <laughs> would you guys get mad if I cheesed something? Oh, it wasn't the uh, the guy that did it, actually. It was uh, the name of the movie. So the, the answer ended up being Free Solo. He Alex was the guy that did it, right? It wasn't it wasn't asking him, it was just asking about the movie, I think. I see you over there though, Morik. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do a meme strat. How do I make more dirt for Mealwood? Uh hopefully you have pips. These guys poop out dirt. That would be the fastest way without digging up new dirt. Because the dirt they poop out is the same temperature as their body, which is closer to the mealwood temperature than any other method. Second thing you could do is get your polluted dirt. Go into here, see if you have polluted dirt. I have 49 tons, and you could actually build something called a compost that converts polluted dirt back into regular dirt. This is a slow process, 100 grams per second. You might want to make more than one of these. And they get hot. They get around 70 degrees right celsius so typically you want to put these in a cold environment they're going to generate heat for you uh outside of that the other methods that are worse is you can take anything that's organic like algae right and you could cook it and you get dirt from that so this is from anything organic i believe algae uh if you take slime it cooks into dirt as well if you have man it could be anything you could do that, but you don't have to because it's going to be around 100 degrees. How do you do that? You would put the algae in a steam turbine room. Literally in here and just run it in a rail. <laughs> that's that's how easy it is. Run a rail through your steam room that you're running your heat in. And then it just cooks and you sweep it out. Oh no, you have to, you have to dig that though, I think. Yeah, you don't want to do the heat method because I think you lose half the mass every time. The algae becomes a dirt block that you have to dig like this at a low mass of one gram. So it doesn't matter what you do, you always lose half. So it might be better with the pips or uh, composting. The The heating up method is typically not something people do because it's, it's tough to get it done. Climbing without rope is free solo. It would be an easy guess. Yeah, man, that, that's how you get your uh, movie out there, man. That's how you have people watch the movie. Oh wow, there's a guy climbing called Free Solo. I gotta check that out. <laughs> gotta do it sometimes. Alright, so we don't really need the glass right now. It would be nice to have. But, oh, we don't have toilet water. Let's get that in. We're gonna want to go back and we want to get the sulfur done today. There were some things I wanted to bring though, and I just forgot what it was. There were some things I wanted to bring. So I wanted uh, more glass because I wanted more solar panels for power. We're going to have to power the aqua tuner anyways, right? And then it's going to be a steam turbine aqua tuner combo. Uh, that's going to be here so that we could do the build. We're going to have batteries here to kind of get it primed so that the sulfur stays cold. And then I might want more batteries, but we have metal for that down here, which is not a big deal. Is enough from pips depends how many you have so one pip is going to give you 20 kilograms of dirt so depending on how much meal lice you have to feed you might want to multiply this number until you get that so a lot of times that's what you're going to want to do try to find what uh the amount that you need and try to hit that with the uh you know simple multiplication I don't think we need anything else, right? We should be good. Oil! No, we don't need oil. We don't need oil here. There's nothing that needs oil here. Uh, plastic's fine. Oh, I needed the interplanetary launcher. That's right. No, no, no. Yeah, we needed diamonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We needed diamonds. We needed diamonds. All right, we're going to do that here. All right, so how much do I actually have back at home? 15 tons. Oh, that's more than enough for the Great Monument. Let's see. One, two, 
three, four. Wow, this is perfectly sized. Yeah. I would literally just need four. So, what is that value? Four means, uh, well, first things first, uncheck glass. 800 times four, 32. Let's go with 4,000. I'm gonna put five, just in case I need it for something else. For the window tiles, for other things. And then I needed the rad bolt stuff. So interplanetary launcher. Hey, Lotus Santa coming in with a gifted sub. Thank you so much. What the heck? Thank you so much, dude. Fitz people, Kate Kun, Razor Smash. Dude, you know who to thank. Lotus Santa coming in with some gift subs, man. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you for the huge raid last week. It was super nice. People were nice and helpful too, brother. Hey, for sure. I, uh, for the most part, no. If you guys are in the Oni category, maybe I'll stop by. But yeah, uh, a lot of times when I'm playing Oni, I'll probably raid people I know, and I'll stop by and say what's up. Or, you know, we raid the people in the Oni category. So, just trying to keep the uh, streams in the Onis. But hey, appreciate the, uh, the generosity, man. I became smarter since we last met. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. Hopefully that means that your calling is going in strong and that you guys are progressing smoothly. But of course, man, this game is going to tickle your brain. It's going to make you think a lot, too. So don't worry, man, if you ever get frustrated. This is a game that's supposed to be difficult in that regard. Gotcha, gotcha, man. No worries, no worries. Like, in the grand scheme of things, too, I'm technically only like a 60 viewer Andy, too. Technically. <laughs> Because it's like, you got the people that are big, right? So it's like, everything is relative. Everything is relative. You just gotta... It's hard, but you gotta just keep going. Do what you gotta do. Alright, alright. Hurry this up. Uh, the oxygen should be golden. Yeah, we have seven. Yeah, we're gonna cut this line for now. This is empty. This has been dumping. Everything's been good. Good stuff, good stuff. It's okay. It's okay. This game isn't too frustrating because I'm already... Uh, don't know I'm getting into. So I know what I'm getting into. Gotcha. Oh, it's based off of real life science. I wouldn't say that this is real life science. Because I have people that I know that... Have told me... Hey, this is not how it works in real life. <laughs> I'm like, yeah... I am 100%, I know that. Don't look at this as a video game. Uh, don't look at this as real life. This is a video game. They're like, yeah, but I, I work with these terms all the time. So it's like, they're used to it. And they're like, dude, this is not right. Because when I'm at the lab, it's like this. That's the thing. It's, it's not actually real life. A lot of people that work in those fields have it worse. Because it's counterintuitive for them. Right? Like, in this game, do you know what the heaviest liquid is? It's oil. Somehow, though, in real life, oil floats on top of the ocean, though, right? Oil spills. <laughs> but the heaviest liquid in this game is oil. Right? We all know that oil floats on top of water. You know, cooking, all that stuff. You see the news sometimes. So it's this This game is counterintuitive for those people that play, uh, you know, that, that are scientists in real life. At least that's what they tell me. So I'm just going to take that and be like, yep. They don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. You just hate to see it. All right, so my crew is going to be Rav, Nonstop, Matikso. Nice, that's the crew. We're ready. We're going, and we'll launch. We should be ready. Oh, no, I almost lost. Oh, my God, cancel launch, cancel launch. I did not actually fill this up yet with uh, rocket fuel. Yeah, that's bad. That'd be bad times, man, if this is not ready. There we go. All right, caught that. We caught that. That's a common theme here. Every stream, my brain gets bigger. I see over the taco void. I see you over there. All right, so far, so good. 
I do realistically want this running though, it looks like. Not enough power being stored. We just need to heat up. Yeah, we need more lime. We need more lime. All right, we're gonna up this to a nine if we can. Got a farm going and a ranch, grooming these hatchlings for colts. And someone taught me how to use a transform. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Why are you trying to cook your dupes? I'm not. What do you mean? Where are we cooking the dupes? Oh, is this not running? This is getting kind of hot, actually. All right, we are going to run the coal gen here because it's struggling. Steam is the fuel. Steam is the fuel. This is rocket fuel for the steam engine. <laughs> That's rocket fuel. That's a rocket fuel. Steam engine. Steam engine. You remember those bottle rocket classes? Yeah, we're not doing that. We're doing something else. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Yo, what are you doing? Get out of here. I'm trying to use the toilet on the rocket, man. This guy. Oh my god, bro. You have a cat? Just chilling? Yeah, that's, that's my kitty cat mamba. Yeah, he's, he's just snapping. Yeah, it's only one cat. So the blanket is, uh, the orange color is my blanket. Yep, the black mamba, baby. You know how it is. If you, uh, frequent my channel, sometimes you might see my Kobe jersey. But yeah, you know why he's named that. The engine in the, isn't at the bottom. You ever drive, uh, the station wagon? You ever, you ever drive the station wagon? You guys know how you have extra trunk space in a station wagon? I took that idea and uh, effectively made it into a rocket. Sometimes you gotta haul ass. So the dupes are in the back, right? Because you, you gotta haul them. I have a good hint why he's named that. You have three cats, nice. Yeah, I saw you kitties. Or I, I saw two of them. You picked one of them up, and the other one got jealous. <laughs> Good hint why he's name it. Yep, yep. Only way to do it. I've been watching one of the VOD playthroughs, and there was a moment where he's asleep with all his legs up, almost lost it. Ah, uh, Kazuka. You know, he does that during the summertime, actually. He does that during the summertime. So when he's hot, he puts all his legs up. And the reason why is because he likes the furry blanket, but it's a little bit too hot sometimes. So he'll put his legs up like that to sleep. So he's, he cools down a little bit. Like he's too tired to move. I don't know, but I think your voice is calming. Hey, as long as you enjoy it, that's all we could do. A lot of people have told me that though. Does that work? You don't burn the rocket? The rocket is immune to itself. It's kind of weird. So I'll show it to you when we do the launch, but the rocket is immune to itself effectively. But you have a good voice, yeah, man. You gotta have the uh, radio voice. You gotta make sure, I mean, if you're streaming, you gotta be able to check some of the boxes. You gotta be able to check some of the boxes, man. At least for me, that's what I think. Uh, we gotta cut this so that we could have the pipe not break on us. And then that means this goes out of the side. Alright. Now this is good. Yep, we're ready. Alright, we're gonna show you that this doesn't break itself. So, crew launch. We'll put it up in this format. As you can see, 45, 42, 31, 38. It's relatively low in the 40 degrees. We're gonna wait for the people to go in. We launching, we launching, we waiting for someone. All right, so heat. You can see the dark red starting to uh, come around. But the temperature of the building itself, right? You don't see the temperature of the rocket. The rocket is gone. Rocket is actually not there anymore because you don't even have the ability to check the temperature. So for the most part, you could see that the rocket, even the parts below it, isn't affected by the steam because it's not even there anymore. So the rocket is actually immune to itself. While the rocket launch exhaust is really, really hot, the rocket itself will never be burnt by its uh, own products, byproduct of exhaust gas, whatever it might be. So because of that, you could actually do a build like this and be unaffected.
Now, why do that? When you land on a new planet, you immediately could just climb into the rocket spacefarer and start, you know, staying alive. <laughs> because one of the problems with landing on a new planet is you might have to build ladders. And sometimes you only have abyssalite up top. So it becomes annoying because you can't actually ladder into your rocket. So that kind of sucks. How about rocket landing? Yep, it puts it puts his bum in the in the spot. Flawless job. Y'all know how it is. My brain's expanding too much too fast. Yo, man. That's, that's, yo, man. That's unlimited power. Nothing wrong with that. Used to watch always like a year of had cool stuff in my life. Oh, used to, used to watch you always. Timmy's not here anymore, man. Feels bad. How about landing? Residual gas should heat the rocket after landing. It doesn't. Um, what I said doesn't actually change. Whether you're landing or you're lifting off, the rocket itself is immune to itself. That does not change. So even while landing, it's going to be the same thing, just in reverse. He's coming down, the rocket exhaust heat is still there, and the dupes just run out. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, it's perfectly safe. You'll see it once we land. I'll try to check that out soon. All right, our meal was dying. We'll try to take care of this again. Only problem is, is that it's hot. And I think it's because of the dirt we're uh, adding in, right, from this area. I think that's why. I might be wrong. I gotta stop growing this, though. So we have barbecue, so I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to get us through. I, I guess we'll get some ice eventually. And then we'll just melt some ice on top of this, and we'll be able to uh, cool down the plants very so slightly. I'll probably want to seal this up for that same reason, too. And then, yeah. Is this cold? 21 degrees. That's not bad. Steam temperature is not that bad. We could add some more water to this, just to get some more cold water. Alright, so let's do this system. And then let's get some water on the sun. All right, this goes into here. We will split the line because I do plan on using steam for a while. This one should be filled up. It is nice. Everything's going good so far. And we're going to be trying to get some uh, grub fruit back home soon. All right, speed this up. 0.7, that's fine. So no one's on this planet, right? Yeah, this is empty. So we're just using automation right here to make sure we bring the water back home. That's all we need. We don't need dirt anymore. We brought all the dirt back. 200 degrees. Oh, is that why? All the dirt's down there is hot. Is that the reasoning why they're doing that? That would suck. And then I guess I also need to start uh, potentially using this to cool down the area outside. I'm thinking about doing that right here. Add two bubbles of polluted water. And then make it so that we cool the outside as well. Technically, we have this already, though, which is not bad. And then this is at 44 degrees. This needs to get hotter. Oh, no, it's, it's cooling. It's just a little slow. I guess it's fine. All right, should be okay. Now, we do want to continue mining. So, how hot is this? 77. That's a little hot. All right, we'll just get down to here then. So, there is 65. Yeah, it doesn't get too hot down here. We want to make sure there's no spore kits down here. It's clean. No germs. Can't complain. All right. We're going to continue down. And we're going to be trying to mine this out because, well... We realistically just want to mine out all the space so that we have uh, all the heat sources like this uh, removed. So we probably want to get some more cold water. We want to cool down the middle. Uh, this is at 30 degrees. And that's because of that. Yeah. And we might not need this water anymore because we don't need a filter technically. All right, let's pause. Let's go back to here. There is literally no other pumps. 
There is no way other sources of water could get into here. Okay, we're going to remove this then. That's actually pretty simple. Oh, I could probably just do this. And then we remove the pipeline here because we don't need it. Probably want to remove it from this one as well. And then this goes directly into the sieve. Uh, the bathroom overflow hasn't been on in a while, but that's fine. And then this pipeline's no actually no longer needed. Because this res is for clean, cold water from the opposing side. And then we don't need that anymore. Which means this is also no longer needed. Alright, we'll clean that up. This pipeline I might keep there just because of this. Yeah, it's not bad. So now what we would like to have is just cold energy. Yo, why are there hatches here? Man, get these guys out. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's blueprint day. Hey, let's go, boys. It's Thursday. Guys, I wish upon all of you to get one splendid item today. I wish for that to happen. And that includes me. Oh, damn it. These look kind of nice, though. Yellow cake. Yellow cake is always nice. Oh, wait. Supply closet. Hello? There we go. Yellow cake. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice socks. I don't have these yet. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Dude. Gee, goddamn, happy Thursday, dude. Goddamn. I see you over there. Lucas Moda, Dr. Mosey, Wire Yum, His Sap, Backer, Double X, Valley Noir. We have Taut, Taunt, Taunt. Ta no, it's Taut, Tautilus, Hosek, That, Colin Guy, and Zedit. Dude, holy heck, geek. Thank you so much, man. Immediately, happy Thursday. I was like, happy, holy. Geek, thank you so much for the 10 gifted men. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. I see you over there. But guys, if I just said your name right now, you know who to thank. The homie geek. Welcome to the city, y'all. Hope you enjoy your stay. Courtesy of Geek and Gale. But I see you over the Geek. How are you, man? Hopefully you get something splendid today. Team will come in with the hype. Cool facts. 80% of all animal life on Earth are insects. Wait a second. Are insects considered animals? I don't know how that works, actually. And I believe that because I remember reading something like, if you actually had one human equally balanced out for every ant you would have like a couple thousand ants per human or something like that so that makes sense hey ghost rider would give something alpha thanks so much ghost rider alpha you know who to thank welcome to the city hope you enjoy your stay appreciate all the love you guys i see you guys over there level four hype train oh my god man there's around fifteen thousand species of ants i thought there was only three I thought there was only three ants. There's there's the red ants, the fire ants, right? That's the same thing. And you have the regular ants. And then you have bullet ants. The ants that they bite you so hard it feels like you got shot by a bullet. There's actually more ants than that? Yo, man, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this, man. I, I go with the three that we know. Those are my top three. There we go. That, that way it sounds legit. Invertebrates are the majority of animal lineages. Oh, wow. Amazon has uh, builder ants. Or how they were called, dude. Don't even know. Leaf builder, yo, man. I heard there's some ants that could fly. And I was like, dude, this is too much. Oh, no, we landed. Oh, I couldn't show you. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to land. But you can see here that uh, nothing happens as a result. 30 degrees, 40 degrees, just when uh, exactly the same temperature as the other planet. Fruit flies are not fruits. Ah, I see you over there. I hate fruit flies, man. I'm not gonna lie. Fruit fries are not the business. Oh, am I grounded? So I can't use the materials inside? I am. 
please no one pee their pants. Please, if you guys have to use the restroom, you guys do it right now. How are you guys breathing, dude? The oxygen tank empty. Dragonflies are not dragons either. Nice. Julia butterflies from the Western Amazon drink turtle tears. That's that's gotta be what we. That's gotta be a meme. That's gotta be a meme. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Wow. I see a pro gamer. I see you over there. All right. We had to do a suit swap. All right. So it's Rav. Naps, Matixo. Come on, guys. Swap the suits. Alright, everyone get a suited. Alright, grab the Igneous. Oh, we have a worn suit. Oh, dude, this is bad already. So, the only pro with Rocket is easy access when you land? Uh, no. The main pro with having a floating engine is when you get to Radbolt. The main th reason why I like that design is because once you get Radbolt engine, you have to charge it with Radbolts. The problem is, is that typically the engine's at the bottom and your space fare is in the middle. And what happens is, is that you always, most likely, climb up to the rocket area, right? Because you're below it. This is above, this is on the surface, right? So you're going to come from below. If you don't have a specific setup where you come in from the middle directly to the space fare, you're going to get shot going up. Uh, no, this is you, this is not a vacuum. You can see the steam still here, and you can see that the rocket is not affected by it still. <laughs> I've launched in this backgrounded area for a while. I've gone to here, I've gone to here, and we've made multiple missions to this spot. <laughs> Don't worry, Mori. It, it, but you have to trust me when I say that the rocket is immune to itself. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. But realistically, with the floating engine, when you charge with the rad bolts, right? That's going to be these rad bolt shots. Your dupes will start taking damage, and I've had dupes almost die from that. So having a floating engine means that your dupes can go into the space fair safely. Go in, go out, go in, go out. And then your rocket charges at the top. So all the rad bolts go left to right. We'll build my next rocket with lead. Yep. That's perfectly fine. The only thing you're uh, only worried about with the rockets is meteors. If your planet gets meteors, remember the meteors are hot. <laughs> that's true. That's true. This is this is video game mechanics. The more I poke at your rocket, the uh, the bigger my brain gets. <laughs> yeah. So this design realistically benefits the Rad Bolt rocket the best. Uh, outside of that, the space for at the bottom is a minor pickup that I like for uh, new planetoid visits. That's nice. Alright, alright. So, we're getting to this. Alright. We have to move the obsidian. We have the materials here. This is a vacuum. Alright, we still need water here. All right, so that's going to be this water, and then we need to build ice temperature plates. All right, we got to do that so we get ice water. We have to fill this up. We have to build the rail still. Uh, did we ever get interplanetary launcher tech? We did. Okay. So this is this. And then we have to shoot the rad bolt on the left side. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what we might have to do then. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. We'll have to mine this out. So we have to have this open so that we could shoot the payloads. When insects hit by a smoke bomb, it will attempt to break away. If they fail, they become dazed and can be picked up off the ground. Wow. Good evening. How's everyone doing? What's going on, Electric Dream? Welcome in. Welcome in. We're just enjoying the Thursdays. It's also Blueprint Reset Day, so hopefully we're going to get something splendid. Otherwise, yo man, it's just gonna be a nice time. In the flipped planetoid. This is magma. This is forbidden ketchup. You don't wanna swim in that. Don't wanna dip your fries in it. It's gonna be a bad time. So hopefully we survive. And the magma doesn't just spill on us. That's kinda what we're hoping for, man. 
Sometimes all you could hope for is to get a little bit lucky. I want to dip the chicken in the spice. Yo, man, have you ever had... Uh, what do you call that? Nashville hot? Yo, man, this is this is flipped magma hot. This this dude Nashville hot has nothing on this. Nashville hot has nothing on this man. Oh, oh, you sleep on the ice? What a guy. What about marshmallows for magma? That's going to evaporate into a gas. It's gonna be a bad time. You could try, but you might get hurt in the process, guys. Don't try this at home. I am a professional Oni player. And I will advise for you guys to, uh, you know, don't repeat any of the actions that we might be taking. Gotta understand that I am indeed a professional. Alright, we need these temp shift plates, man. These are priority nines as well. Why do you guys uh, slack it off? I'm also gonna probably mine this layer. Man, he's chilling. Oh, they're chilling together. Look at these slackers, man. And they're just making non stop naps do all the work. That's so rude. I mean, he can't stop, so why not? No, nah, man, he can't stop napping. I guess you got the short end of the stick today. Alright, I'll put the uh, bin right there. It's a paradox. Sometimes it'd be like that. True. Dude, it is windy today. I have no idea what's going on, but it is mad windy. Alright, we want to move this. I want to move that here. That's realistically why I have the bin here, to be honest. I want to start moving all the items to the bin. All right, so they know what they need to do. That's how we're getting ice water to move into here. We're just melting ice from the ice planet right here. So it should be all right. All right, back at home, how are we doing? Yeah, Mewa needs a little bit of love. Ah, this is jammed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I broke my AQ. Not like this. No, I broke my AQ. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. Yeah, uh, same thing happens. My reservoir filled up. So that means the water freezes inside the aqua tuner loop because it doesn't have space to dump it out. And then my pipe breaks as a result because it goes below zero. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna have to go back in. All right, first things first. Uh, the fix for this is not that bad. Welcome in, Julie, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Hello, hello. It happened before, but we'll fix it, we'll fix it. So we're gonna need a drop of oil. So we'll move that in. Uh, I want a small drop. Ooh, 350 grams. Perfect. Let's move this to here. We need max priority move. We want to mop the water. We just had a meter shower, so we shouldn't have one anytime soon. This is so that we don't spill the oil in a weird way. Doing good. How about you? I messed up. I done messed up. <laughs> I done messed up, man. I'm happy to find oil cans with that value. Yeah, man, it's it's nice. That's exactly a drop. Last time meters tried to happen while it was being fixed. Yeah, man, and the water pushed over my oil. It was so sad. Is that a good coolant though? It's, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, the reason why I'm gonna be using oil here is because the oil shouldn't get pushed over. That's gonna be the main reason why oil is typically the best liquid uh, when people are looking to make liquid locks. Anytime liquid pushes on top of oil, it's the most resistant to being uh, relocated. All right, we want to empty. Timo, Timo, come on, Timo. Why didn't you turn around? Ghost Rider, you're not doing this, man. Timo, you turn around? Timo, what are you doing? Timo, I want you to reset. 
and then I want you to reset. Generate power. Who's doing this? Arwen, you need to stop too. I want Timo to do this. Damn it. Alright, Cyberdyne, you can do it, man. Thug life. We'll let him do it. He's catching his breath. I didn't bring enough suits. That might have been my mistake. I didn't bring enough suits. Uh, let's look at the three then, real fast. So, non-stop naps. Dude, digging skill 25. Jesus Christ. Why is he so good at digging? All right, Mr. Naps is going to stay inside. Uh, or he could stay down here, which is actually probably okay. Alright, let's do another ice temperature plant, because we need that. And then I want to do... Oh, it's not you. I want to take someone else. Alright, so they did it. Nice. Alright, we got the oil drop. Let's do these two tiles. Want to make sure it's only tiles? Or what did I do? You you try to do a job. You stole a job from someone, dude. You're taking the people's jobs. So as a result, man, we had to do something about that. I could have been done by now. I know, man. Feels bad. Come on, y'all. Bottom one is safe. There you go. The oil moves out. All right, and this is oxygen, steam, safe tile. We want to go in, repair. And we have steel right here. Nice. All right, so let's move the steel out. All right, we just got to seal it up. We're good. Being the scab, not working with the union. Yo, man. It's fine. It's fine. Just move the oil out real fast. All right. Let's also move the igneous rock so that it doesn't get pushed in. <laughs> I mean, we might as well, right, since we're here. All right. Now, the upside with this is this is cold water. Uh, this is hot water. All right. So, I need to do this setup. And then... I need more water to loop in. Wait, how come this isn't looping in right now? How come this isn't looping like this? It goes here, here, here. Oh, it goes like this. And then this doesn't connect to here. Why? There should be water coming out. Oh, the power isn't on. That's why. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We could do that. So we don't want that on until we're done. The igneous got removed. We want to do this. I fear someone's going to stand here and get stuck. All right, we're going to have a camera there. All right, over here. Ice water is coming in. It's pretty good. This is not a gas. Okay. Uh, So far, so good. Oh, I need the lead right here. That's what I needed. I was like, why did I need lead? Oh, that's right, over here. So we'll go like that. And steam turbine. And then we have to run it all together. Uh, let's probably make this smarter. Run it through here. As much as I want to run it through the bottom tiles, I don't really trust it. I'm going to be real, man. I don't trust this. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll do it like that. I think we'll want to move out some of the uh, Abyssalite first because I'm scared to melt the lead. That's going to be bad news if I do. All right, back to here. Oh, didn't get stuck, boys. Didn't get stuck. Bridges the wrong... No. This is, this is supposed to be extra spaghetti. But the moment I plug in the power, it's going to work. Right? That's all we need. Just move in the power. 
All right, now this is gonna loop, and then we have to cut this before it breaks itself again. I just wanted to move a little bit of the liquid. Now, I should be able to do this. We're going to do a small loop right here, just to dump cold water. This is 17 degrees, and we're gonna cool down the mule ice again. There we go. And just like that, let the rain fall down from the seven seas. Let it wash away those memories. Uh, hmm. No shine bugs, man. All right, meal wood is going to be nice again. And then the water is going to have space to dump. Oh, I have this saw. That's why. All right, let's cut the power off of that. I want the water to stay cold. All right, we're going to try to cool down this area effectively just by dripping water. It's going to accumulate at the bottom, and then we'll let it drain again if we need to. Oh, and this is done. Nice. That means I get the trim here. And that means I get this. Which means I could climb up this way and mine out this entire thing. Nice. This is still a little hot. I don't want to mine this yet, so we'll just try to do this chunk. Julie joining the Duke Colony. Nice. I see you over there, Julie. Do you have a preference? Of a specific dupe? As of right now, though, I have no dupes free. So if you have a specific dupe you want me to try to look out for, I got you. If not, we'll get you on the next one. That should be in three cycles. I'll grab the next dupe we get. I don't mind that at all. We'll get you in soon, Julians. We'll get you in soon. Next dupe you'd like? For sure, for sure. We'll do those two. Now we got to do a suit swap. I didn't want naps in here. Ravco, that's fine. And then he does that. There we go. This one is going to be Matikso once he pops inside. There we go. Matikso, deliver the suit. Oh, two worn suits. Oh, we got to leave already. I just realized today's blueprint day. Dude, I got a new I got new sh socks today. Kind of pog, dude. We got new socks today. We got new socks today, man. It's really nice. We got the uh, yellow cake socks. That's right, yellow cake. Uh, likely pull this all the way out. All right, they're mining, doing their thing over here. I think we have to leave soon. God damn it. I got to bring more suits. That's what I forget. I also want to do the diamonds. That's where we need it. After that, we got to get a liquid inside, which is likely going to be the cold water. There's also the pea water, which is probably going to be the better liquid because it's going to have a better range. But it, I don't know if that really matters too much. Regular water should be fine. All right, we got the two. We need temp shift plates here being made. I'm hoping non-stop naps does this because you could just breathe in here. But you could breathe. I don't want him to take off his suit. There's a chance that if he takes off his suit, he has a worn out suit. And then I can't utilize a suit glitch. <laughs> That's actually what I'm trying to utilize. Ah, right, let's sweep the Abyssalite here into the bin. Cool fact, there's a fly right behind you. Ah, oh, it's a lie, boys. There's nothing in my room. Mamba is the eater of anything that flies. So if there's anything that's flying, it's dead. And Mamba's, Mamba's ate it already. Y'all might not know this, but Mamba, man, this guy, dude. Wait. Oh, yeah, I need liquid here for the liquid layer. That is correct. All right, so I still need glass. Uh... All right, we're going to use the cheese strap, boys. I didn't want to do this, but we're going to want to do this. It's time for the cheese strap. So, how do I want to do this? That should be large enough. 
Guys, forgive me for I am going to cheese. Food has decayed. That's fine. Building broken. That's on this side. That's fine. They were getting hammered by the meteors. This side's going to be interesting. It has all my metals on it. But then setting up something for this side is going to be uh, fun times. Alright, they're going to be building that rocket. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. The heat proof TARDIS. If it's in game, it's not cheating. I guess you call it being very clever. I could see that. Cool fact if a dupe is in the O2 environment wearing an Atmos suit that's empty, they will breathe while the suit taking the helmet off and not use O2. Yep. They won't exhale any CO2, they won't breathe in any O2 as well. It is cheese. 100%. 100%. I think calling it cheese is fair. Kind of cheese it is. Uh, this is the rare uh, burrata cheese that is crossed with a nice Parmigiano Reggiano. It's somehow creamy but grainy at the same time. It doesn't make any sense. All right, we need this build, dude. We have all the materials inside. We just need you guys to build this. Non-stop naps. Yeah. We have one suit to swap, potentially. So this one is done, meaning that, yeah, the other ones are worn out. All right, swapping suits is going to be uh, kind of tough right now. All right, dropping that into there is not good. <laughs> Thousand degree abyssal light, man. Yeah, that's probably not smart to have that right there. If anything, I would probably just mine it down a tile, though, so we don't have to move it. Move the water. Have the ice. Six kilograms. Yeah, it's nothing. All right, we still need more water. It's fine. But yeah, we need to supply everything. This is grams of water, so let's turn these off. Yeah, so he doesn't just loop back and forth. Raps goes out. We need to supply the items. Latixo might be able to do it. Is that a triple warn? No, 28%. It's not bad. Alright, Latixo can go do the thing. Grab the lead. Not some naps is chilling here. He's fine. Some CO2 in here we gotta get rid of. Alright, so someone's gonna dock that. We have a suit left. And then we just wanna supply everything if we can. Lead wires. Doing the Abyssalite, not bad. Alright, that's fine if that's there. All this hot uh, this light we gotta move. The bin doesn't get hot though. 400 degrees, bin's at 36. All right. We haven't delivered any of the diamonds. That's unfortunate. Oh, 320. Okay, they're starting to do it. Oh, there's diamonds right here. Nice. And there's diamonds right there. Oh, worst spot to sleep. Non-stop nap. He's trying to deliver. He's probably having a bad time. Yep, O2. 160, 480, almost. We'll have these guys soon. Oh, another blueprint, boys. It's time. It's going to be splendid, watch. It's going to be splendid. It's going to be the top tier splendid beds. Oh, the common yellow pants.
I have those. Oh, what a travesty. The common yellow pants that I already have. You hate to see it. Alright, a little bit of diamond movement. Double build, not bad. It's a dupe rage install, I know, man. What do you mean? We get dupes every three cycles, though. We get dupes every three cycles. What do you mean? Now nah, we could. We could probably recycle that. Duplicate. And that's 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 what the dupes are called, right? <laughs> Got him. That's what the dupes are called. Yep. Seems legit. All right. So it's gonna be time for us to head back. Duplicates. Ah, uh, snap. All right. He got me on a technicality. Sometimes, man, it'd be like that. All right. Another upside is since my rocket exhaust is up here, the steam doesn't get into the vacuum room, which is really nice. You spawn from the engine location, right? So the steam never actually gets in here, which is the reason why I like moving the engine up because anytime you place a platform down on planets like this, you launching cooks the planet. Right, because not all planets have the layer of abyssalite up top. So having that's kind of beneficial in some cases too. Relocates the heat. Alright, so we're going to need to make extra suits. So we have one suit, two suit, three suit. Probably want to get a couple more. Ooh, copper is low. Are we not making lime? Oh, wow. We finished making all the lime. And there's not enough steam power. I guess we really do have to do this for a long time. Alright, we're also going to want to do a little bit of iron then as well. No power, boys. Big struggle right now. Can't go inside. Can't even do the ranching. Geek over here. It's Dr. Geek. I see you over there. Damn, is this a lot of power draw? Feels bad. I guess I realistically shouldn't be uh, feeding too many things off of this. Two sixty one, one eighty four. How much is this? 80 degrees. Oh, it comes out really low. Dude, making iron actually hurts us. I guess we could try to use uh, a shutoff to actually do a uh, reloop or not. That would work really well, too. Shut off along the top. Steel Aqua Tuner is out of power. Is it intentional? Uh, no, it's not actually. We're out of power because I'm actually out of lime. <laughs> so I need to make some lime right now to make steel. And since we stopped making steel, we eventually ran out of power. Alright, I guess because we have a lot of coal, I shouldn't burn the power then. And just power this kind of like by ourselves. Whole gen still works. Other lines still work. We'll just keep this running. That's a little unfortunate. Take the hatch eggs. Oh, I should. I was supposed to get a dupe. I was supposed to get a dupe. My bad, Julie. I'll get you in next. Guys, someone remind me to bring a dupe. I need to bring a dupe, boys. Hey, 2 lc yeah? What's, what's going on, Geek? Do I need some? Bring a dupe! Okay, got you, I got you. We'll bring that in, we'll bring that in. Remember to get a dupe, gotcha, gotcha. Seem legit, seem legit. Oh, this is getting colder, dude, that's so bad. Uh, the price we pay. Reminder to bring a dupe, yep, yep, yep. Gotcha, guys, gotcha, guys. We'll bring the dupes in. I'll, I'll remember this time. 
All right, so all the water's gone. Nice. So we could cut this again. And then we're effectively just going to be making more water. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to chill the water again. Yeah, we just got to heat this up. Even if they want to add water, they can't. All right, so we got to boil this. It's going to take us a long time. Good news is we have a lot of water. Bad news is that we might fill this up again. Flooding. Oh, it's over here. That's fine. All right. This is almost getting to max power. This is at 1,200, but it's not enough to power everything else, like the uh, other Atmo suits and the kitchen grills. So we're almost at the temperature we need to be at. It's coming out around 175. Yep, yep. We need this hotter, but we need steel f to reach that. Ladders are broken, that's fine. Oh, they got... Dang! They got already down here? Dude, that's impressive. We're gonna mine this like that. Hopefully this is fine. This is gonna give the dupe something to do though. No wait, the other thing, lime? More lime? I mix the lime and coconut together. Dude, you know what's really good? Cherry lemon. I feel like cherry lemon, cherry lime is something that is slept on in terms of flavors. I feel like it's not as popular as how good it tastes. Like the cherry lime flavor, man, is really good. The reason why I say that is because I bought Coke cherry the other day and I'm not gonna lie, man, it was delicious. Oh, I gotta bring a dude that's right, I gotta do that. Cherry in general uh, wasn't bad. No, man, you don't have a lot of cherry flavor. I feel like a lot of the cherry flavors we have are either the uh, Mars, what's that? What's that called? The Marchiato cherries. Oh, cherry ginger ale, that's probably delicious, man. What is it called, Marchiato cherries? I feel like that has ruined the taste of cherries because it doesn't taste like cherries at all. It's like there's this weird sweetness to it that I can't really like, man. Oh, there's a lemon cherry gelato. Oh, that's probably mad delicious. That sounds mad delicious. Not gonna lie, man. That sounds amazing. Oh, wait, I actually can't pump this yet because it's not hot enough. All right, we'll do that. Uh, we'll fill this up. We will leave the diamonds on the ground. This is going to be Atmos suits. They're 200 each. We're going to put 600. And then we got to deliver suits here. And then everything here should be fine. So we need to connect the oxygen. All right. How many reminders is too many reminders? That is the question Albert Einstein couldn't answer. Yo, man. That's that's because he doesn't know what relativity is. Right? See, if, if Einstein knew about relativity, he would have been fine. Because he would understand that the answer is relative to the person. Yeah, that's not relativity at all. I just made that up, y'all. Pretty sure that's a question about Albert Einstein. Didn't know he was asked a question. No man, what are you guys talking about? I have to bring a dupe. Yeah, I got you guys. We gotta bring the dupe boys. Oh, I have water here? What the heck is this? <laughs> what the heck is this? What the heck is that? Alright, let's we'll leave it like that. Alright, so we're charging the O2, filling this up. Some bathroom water wouldn't be bad. And then we had to get the suits in. Uh, we have suits here. Oh, and the, we're repairing for free. That's right. 
Dude, and this is already too hot again. Come on, man. Let me just have cold temperatures here. That's all I'm asking for. Alright, now that we bought the other Aqua Tuner, we're actually okay right now. Battery's starting to accumulate. Not even really making steel. Not bad at all. It's getting hot in here, so we gotta stop the grow. Yo, man, that sounds like some illegal still. I have to stop the grow? Yeah, man. I believe the pot, uh, the uh, cops are on that. The cops are on that, man. You gotta watch out. What's the ideal temperature for the home planet for this run? Probably around 24 degrees. Realistically, that's what I would want to be at in real life. So I would want that for my dupes. I hope that sounds fair. <laughs> I hope that sounds fair. All right, we're going to trim the line. There we go. So we could dump the line again. All right, we need the cold water, y'all. I guess we could make this colder than 20. Let's go 15. try to get some cold water for this yeah the dirt's really hot man dude what in the heck is this why is my dirt so hot is this why all my dirt's here is there a clean way to automate base temp uh clean way to automate base temp realistically uh no so what i do is i try to temper the temperature of the oxygen i haven't really been keeping up because i wasn't really powering of aqua tuner so this is a little off but that would be what i would do i would try to effectively cool the oxygen and then that would try to maintain temperature and then i would try to cool down the base by spot cooling it so if I have ice, I'll use the ice to chill an area and then maintain it with the oxygen. Now, of course, I'm doing a bad job on this playthrough because of where I put a lot of the heat generators. Like I was making glass right here. Metal refinery was right here. All the batteries were right here. And then the water looping back into it was regular pipes. So the heat was leaking out this entire time. So I was not doing a good job on this one. And I don't have ice. So waiting for this is a very long time. But getting an ice is really nice, though, if you can get the ice. Realistically, though, if you want to automate cooling the base, it's tough. Because you have to cool your entire base, so you would have to have, like, segments of radiant pipe. It melted up there. We have to remind him to get a dupe. Oh, yeah, I gotta get a dupe. I forgot about that. But yeah, it's tough, man. So right now I'm running cold water. Typically water is a great way of chilling down the base. Problem is, is that once you have hot water, it's actually warming up the base still. So <laughs> it's a win and lose effect right there. All right, what's the steam temps? This is at 114. All right, I'm just going to start pumping it in. Because steam temperature realistically doesn't matter. I just need to make sure we reach the engine. Alright, that's at 14. 137, 113. Alright, as long as we make it inside, I'm happy. Seems like temperatures are the toughest thing to solve. It is. Like... It's not difficult because technically if you do this pattern, that's technically all you need. The problem is, is that a lot of times people only have one aqua tuner line. So if your line becomes too long, you only chill the first couple of radiant pipe segments. Everything else after that will chill after the beginning chills. 
because you absorb the heat and then it dumps the heat and then once this is chilled you could start chilling the second half and then the third part and then the fourth part so it's one of those things where you could use an aqua tuner but the like spread and radius is relative so it's hard to realistically get nice chilled cooling like controlled status without having multiple aqua tuners or thermal regulators which is why it's it's I figure the oxygen method is going to be the way to do it. Because you have to distribute your oxygen. So if your oxygen is cold, it should be fine, right? In that regard. Oh, I was supposed to reroute this and I never did that. Uh, yes. So it was here. I forgot I was supposed to do this. Here, 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 here. This is gone. This doesn't cross anymore. We have both of these off of this line, and then now we have this line. So that's going to be like that. And then this goes like that, and then we cut this line. Effectively, we just want to remove this. And then this line goes here, here, here. Ah, and then we could separate this part, right? Because this is doing all the work, but then we're just going to cut this part and use this for something else. Yeah, 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 that works. Uh, I will cut this, though. I don't want that connected yet. Nice. Time for a dupe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get one of those. That's right. We had to get one of those. All right. So the line for cooling should be empty. Let's empty this out. What's that with the glass dome? Ah, give me one sec. Let me empty this out, and I got you. Glass Dome. Ah, this is the Virtual Planetarium. This is the fourth tier science building. So it's effectively this building, the research station. This converts dirt into research. This converts water into research. You have this, that's Rad Bolt to research, and this is for the data banks. So once you get the rocketry, and you start making the data banks with the orbital data collection lab, you use the data banks on that machine back at home. So yeah, it's just science for the most part. Did we get the suits? Oh, we got the suits, nice. See, I don't like how they do this now. They overfill the suits. I don't know why it's like this now. It feels like it's a like weird value. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, cut the pipe. And then, yeah, here we go. So we want to cut this. And then we want to do that. So then now this line is suit line plus the rocket line. It's more dedicated. This line is going to be for the right side. It's not too bad. Geek, I was there. I raided him. And then I, I was watching you help him out. You guys didn't know. I was watching you guys, man. I was like, damn, look at that geek, dude. He's helping out uh, Lodo, uh, Lodo Santa right now, man. All the help, dude. All the help in the world. I was like, man, this guy geek, dude. He is he's MVP right now. <laughs> I saw that, man. I, I got dinner. I made dinner. And then I had, I had the stream up, but I was watching some basketball stuff, actually. So I was like, hey man, look, man, this guy Geek, man. He's doing all the hard work right now. <laughs> Geek knows quite a bit. I saw a Geek, man. He doesn't know, but I was watching. Guys, I always see you over there. Even when you think I'm not watching, man. I always see you over there. <laughs> I love this game. It's such a good backseating game with the community. It's, it's, yeah. It's one of those things where... The knowledge in this game is very, very important, and having that knowledge helps you out so much. It's insane. I've been spied upon, yo man. They don't think it'd be like it is, geek, but it do. And it, oh, this is gonna break. Yep, not good. Uh, We gotta do that. We gotta do this. All right, so this is heating up the steam again. That way we'll have a nice hot temperature and more cold water. That's going to be good. No more oxygen. That's going to accumulate. Nice, nice. Dump out the steam. We need some water. That's what we need right now. Just a little bit. 
That should be good. I'm always learning new things from watching people. Yeah, man. Different people with different ideas, especially with a game like this. It's kind of nice. I gotta go boo my car. I'll see you in a little bit. Kazuka, be safe, man. Happy to uh, help people find their feet in the game. Always nice to, ha to have another player. Yup, yup, man. It's always nice. Always nice. Zero Dragon, welcome in. How are you? I see you over there, man. What's good? Technically, we don't need to spill this yet. All right, so we're good, right? Yeah. All right, so we got suits in, extra suits, food. Food looks okay. That's 16 days at the very least. All right, we're going back. We're at 150, and we're going to immediately launch. We didn't get glass in time for this, so it'd be like that sometimes. All right, the dig at the bottom is getting worked on. Can't complain. There's a lot of sweeping we could do as well. If my dupes haven't swept yet. A lot of sweeping they could do. I'm also thinking about putting all the oil into a reservoir. Also, happy to help TLC grab a dupe. If he's not... Oh, that's right! Guys, how much time do I have left for that? Point two. We gotta get the dupes. We gotta get the dupes. Easy cure, welcome in. I see you over there. Slide it in. Alright, yeah, the power's going great right now. Look at that. Okay, so... Having a stockpile to make steel at any time is going to be the goal. So it looks like the temperature is alright. We're on the steel, we're going to go down to 1. And then the battery's about to top off soon, so... I'll want to wait for that. I guess we could do a double line here. Supplemental power along with the battery on this side. Because once the aqua tuner here stops running, because we're at a good temperature, we don't really consume the power. So I'll probably want this on on top of the cool so that it's always running, whether we have power here or not. That should be fine. Oh, it's a dupe time. Yeah, 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 guys. I'm going to grab the Draco eggs. All right, this is gonna be Julie, starry-eyed. Yeah, I think we're gonna be taking uh, starry-eyed Steve. Julie, I don't know if you have allergies, but you're gonna have allergies in our playthrough. Welcome in, Julie. I heard Julie used to be a world-class ballerina. This is not actually true, but I'm just need an excuse to give her the ballerina outfit. All right, so we gotta get the yellow gloves with the cake shoes. Let's go, it's time. Matches the fade. Oh, you're not, you're not balloon artist, that sucks. I wanted the balloon artist. Only way to do it. We got you in, Julie. You need to go to the gym, though. A little slow. A little slow. Ah, right, we could do that. This is pretty clean. Gasville here is backed up. Nice. All right, so they're on their way. 0.7. All right, let's speed this up. Hatches are having a good time. We have a couple of smooth eggs. Always looking nice. Eight out of eight. No one is having issues. Nice. It's going good. Oh, and we got to do the cheese. I forgot. Uh, we'll make this with copper. About to play some games. Going to catch you guys. We'll see you guys later. Have a, have a good time, man. Enjoy the games. And yo, man, thank you for stopping by low. Appreciate the support as well. But yo, man, have a good one. Make sure you get all the number one places. Because you're either first or last, in the words of Ricky Bobby. Regolith Storm is coming. For sure, it's crazy outside. Dude, you're getting Regolith in your part of the world? Dude, that sucks, man. Regolith is hot. It's it's reverse hail. You know what I'm saying, man? The reverse hail? They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Wait, is this heating up? Why is this heating up? This should not be heating up. Oh, maybe this was the temperature when I built it, because this was hot in the area. 
That kind of makes sense. Yeah, this was hot. Everything's around the same temp, too, so it's probably fine. Baseball-sized hail. Oh, that's dangerous, man. Dude, I hope you're parked under, like, a building. Because that's the f first thing you think about. Oh, man, that's going to hit my car. <laughs> that's going to hit my car. Welcome in, Leo. How are you? How is the days today? How is the Thursday? That's a reset day, man. Come on, boys. We got to get the decon. Ice meteors. Oh, he has, he has the same thing I have. He got the ice meteor shower in real life. Supposed to get a foot of snow? Dang. I hope your roof has a roof. Yeah, man. Otherwise, your roof's going to get dented. Oh, this doesn't move down? Okay. Uh, that means I go like this. And then we do the meme strat. Ah, it's better on the other side. Okay. Here. Here. And then just like that. The liquid dumps here. And then we just do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the point in between of the gap here between the ladder and the tiles? So that's primarily for something called gas flow. Gas is in this game because of how they move and it's not uh, actually a straight movement, it's an algorithm. They need space to crawl down. And it's because of one real reason. No matter the size of the gas, liquid, or solid, you could only ever have one entity occupy one tile. This is the smallest unit of measurement, one tile. Now, this one tile could hold a bunch of gas or very little gas. It all amounts to the same one tile. So, you could have a single thing of polluted water. Uh... I have my polluted water there. You could have a single thing of polluted water. Right? And that could be as little as 34 grams. However, that same one tile could actually hold a lot more. Right? This is 31,700.2 kilograms with 200 million germs of food poisoning on that tile. So although there's one tile of the smallest size, not every tile is made equal. So that being said, uh, the range of your single tile values could be a lot or a little. So all you have to understand is it doesn't matter the size, the smallest amount of space you occupy is always one tile. That being said, when gases are moving up and down relative to other gases, so you can't see this, this is a cloud of oxygen with specks of CO2 inside. These are duplicates breathing out when they breathe in. So the CO2 is the heaviest gas, and while it is, it's gonna try to accumulate at the bottom. Problem with that is, it has to crawl down. Now, if you had something known as a choke point, that's effectively an area where you only have one space gap between two tile spaces like this. This is a choke point. While gases could come down the middle, you could only have one gas occupy this at a time. This means that if this is CO2, the CO2 could actually decide to move up or down or just stay there. And the reasoning is because there is no gas relative to this. What I mean when I say that is, is that if I unpause and you look at the CO2, it's not always moving down. There is some RNG factor and whether it goes left, right or down and that's relative to the gases. So when you have a choke point and your CO2 gets to that tile, it could either move up or down. While it's doing that, no other gases could use that space, effectively blocking out that from moving oxygen up or down. So you need this one space gap so multiple gases could come through. Now, the wider the range, the better the gas flow. But for the most part, this is primarily due to how the game is designed how there's a single tile entity for any gas, 
And if you want the gas flow to be better, you gotta give it space to move. That was a long explanation. Hopefully that made sense, huh? How much cheese you gonna uh, cooking up? Yo, man, we'll find out, man. We're gonna find out today. Oh, we're already there. All right, let's go. Y'all is working. We gotta move the obsidian. All right, so this is in, this is in. Uh, we need a little bit of water here, not bad. We need the water in this pipeline as well. We'll get this in. For what I assume just wasn't sure, gotcha, gotcha. Four is the most optimal layout for that. Three is generally used because of the ladders, poles, tubes. But dupes can use uh, for vertical. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually why I do it too. It's specifically because of that layout. Tube, fire pole, and plastic ladder. Well, that's eventually what you'll get. But yeah, I, I would say that's also a preference thing, a design thing as well. Depending on how the base is laid out. And sometimes you might want a weird setup because it's more advantageous. I could see that too. Alright, so we need more ice right here. Alright, so what are we waiting for? I need water here and then we get the steam turbine. We need the water inside the radiant pipeline. This room needs a little bit of water in the lower level that we could add in- Oh, that's what we don't have. This. That's what we don't have. Because then when we have this, yeah, the water is going to have to come out. So we're using that liquid pipe. Okay, I should probably make that insulated then. The diamond is in, the steel is in, that's going to be sulfur, that's really hot, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> Let's try to bring that outside. Alright, still trying to get ice for the temp shift plates, good times. Alright, someone's going to come in, we're going to swap their suit so that uh, they'll be able to breathe. All right, who's going to be number one? Abductor doesn't have a suit on, but he's number one. Three is also used often in the early game because tile space, two tiles for a dupe to cross. Easier to do that with double ladders. Uh, plus one tile movement. True, they do uh, jump that gap. That's actually why I like to do uh, ladders across like that. They just keep running. Oh, no. Who was that? God damn it, non-stop damps. Oh wow. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Everything here looks good. We need more water. That's gonna be here. We're waiting for the pipelines to be built. Technically these are more important. Alright, downtime. Swap the suits. Alright, Ravka, that's you. That's uh, Matikso, that's you too. Alright, new suit. Good to hear. Alright, so non stop naps. Needs a new suit. And then new delivery. Nice. Alright, seal two at the bottom. We're going to have to fix this soon. But we can't do that yet. Alright, we gotta build this. Still gotta fill up the water. Let's get two more temp shift plates in here. That's really important for this. This is at 500. We're probably going to need five more temp shift plates. After these two. Alright, so this is not that hot. We'll just mine this now. Uh, the interplanetary launcher. It's a four tile gap. Okay, and I see how I have to shoot this in as well. Oh, I see how I do this. Oh, 
Oh, I was supposed to bring a pip. That's right. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to bring a pip. Because I needed to natural plant the... Uh... I needed to natural plant the Weezwer. Oh, I can't believe I forgot about that. All right, we're gonna put ladders here because we still need to be able to cross this. Ice temp shift plates, he's sleeping. Some of these are hot. Yeah, we needed the, 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 yeah, we needed that here. It should be fine though. I can see clearly now the meteor shower is gone. I see you over there, Geek. Dude, it's windy, dude. It's super windy today. I, it sounds like my tarp is like cracking the whip outside. You guys know what I'm talking about, man? It's so windy, it's like, whoops. I'm like, god damn, dude, what's happening outside? Oh, this is made out of steel? No, man, we're not making this out of steel. We're making that out of copper. Oh, I'm out of copper. Oh, classic. Uh, we'll mine this part. Someone bring the steel inside. Supersonic tarping, yeah, man. Kind of scary. It's kind of scary. All right, some water spilled, but I think it's okay. All right, they're building that now, which is not bad. Sandstone's there. I'll probably have to move that out. All right, so we need to build this. Let me get that. Let me get that as well. All right, so I think that's going to be the range right here. These four tiles. That's going to be where my planetary launcher is going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now there's nothing in here. Once everything falls down, we're just going to remove the tiles. So the, the items just fall through. <laughs> we're just going to make sure all the hot items are like down there or something. All right, let's put some obsidian tiles there. Actually, no, let's put some igneous tiles there. And then technically we want to decon the other ones. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't set yourself up to fail. Don't decon and stand on that. That's, that seems so dangerous. All right, we good, we good, perfectly safe. Ahoy, having a mental health day. Just wanted to check in and say hello. Hope you're having a wonderful day and a good stream. Hey, I see you transit biker. Not biking to work today, but yo man. Take care of yourself, do whatever it is you gotta do. Make sure to treat yourself right. And yo man, transit biker man. We're doing pretty good. Weather is nice. It is a nice warm temperature. Mamba is, uh, he's doing okay. It's not cold that he has to, uh, you know, snuggle up in a very warm area. But uh, he's doing good. Sunny skies, not a cloud in sight. Doesn't look like rain either, so it's gonna be a good times. But yo, man, appreciate you tuning in, that transit biker. You gotta take care of yourself, man. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? You gonna leave it right there, dude? That's hot. Oh, it's for the uh, ladders. That's why. Ah. Uh. Oh. Damn it, I did it again. All right, we're bopping those. All right, last try, boys. The last shot at something splendid. Please. Please, please, please. Let me get the beds. Oh, decent. We got a painting. Oh, these are nice. I got the hands, boys. Not bad. We collecting paintings. We got some of these paintings. We take those. We take those. All right, you guys inside, right? 
Uh, let me do a swap for you. And then let me do a swap for you. There we go. Nice, nice. 69, nice. <laughs> Yo, man, we take those, we take those. All right, let's put the igneous there. Put the igneous ladders here. Then I think we do this. This is technically excessive, but I kind of want this. I kind of want that. Oh, wait. No. I might not want to have that. Ooh. I don't think anything weird's going to happen here, right? Now, we should be fine with regular tiles here. Yeah. That's never going to be an issue. That's... Look at this obsidian. It's not even changing the temperature of the water at all, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. Water OP. The water ain't going to budge. Oh, it went up 1 degrees. 0.1, I'm sorry. It went up 0.1. Yep, not worried about the obsidian at all. Nice. Alright, so we still need more water there. That's the ice temperature plates. Auto save lag. Alright, so. We need something known as the interplanetary launcher. Uh, so that's going to be this. I should make it out of steel. And then we'll line that up right there. All right. That should be fine. Why does autosave lag that much? I'm going to be honest, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm going to be completely honest. I really don't know. Autosave just lags, man. So the bottom is the active tile. So this makes sense. Oh. That means I can't have an efficient setup. Unless I do that, which works. Which would mean I would try to try to bop this tile. It's a big, big file. I'm not sure if it is. That's probably right, though, that, it, that it's a big file. Uh, this has half. This has to be the active tile, right? There's no way that it isn't. So that means that I could do this. Yeah, and that would be my natural tile. Dude, this is going to be weird. The hope the pip doesn't get bodied. Because everything is hot. <laughs> the hope the pip doesn't get bodied. The worst uh, hard drive mechanical ones can write uh, 100, 140 Mbps. This file is like 60, so it shouldn't take that long. There probably has something to do with... Uh, Maybe there's some kind of conversion that's going on. Oh, no. We ran out of power again. That's my bad. Let's make uh, 15 things of steel. We got to do it, man, for the sake of the greater good. Bits versus bites. Oh, technically different. All right. That means then this shipping line is likely oh oh damn that works that's so good i just realized why that's so good oh i just realized why that was so good 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's get some more ice right here. We're going to be using the sulfur as a coolant medium. I just realized that. So we're going to have water here. It's not going to be a lot. Just going to be enough for us to, uh, you know, cool down the building in a vacuum. So what we're going to do is we're going to run that on the water. Because this is going to be cold. This is going to be less than 50 degrees almost every time. So we're going to run that on here before we shoot it out. Oh, dude, that works so well. I assume the issue is because of the 60 megabytes of data coming from the game of the current state of the game engine. Oh, so it's a it's it's a Unity problem. <laughs> classic. That's a classic right there. All right, looks like the mining over here got done. Let's do some sweeping. Let's get them started with that. Uh, trimming this should be easy. We also want to get rid of that. All right, base is still hot, huh? Uh. So this has been helping out. I guess we could run another radiant pipe segment up top. I would need some cold water for that. I wouldn't mind it though, to make it something like that that's very simple. So let's do it. We're gonna use iron right here. We're gonna put solid tiles on top to make a uh, cold loop plus energy hold. And then we'll just run radiant pipes on that, just like this to uh, slowly start cooling down the bottom of the base. Uh, you know what I should do as well? I think we're going to start moving back Weeze Wards. So we're going to try to grab some Weeze Wards from here before we leave. Oh, I could grab this one. Oh, it's unreachable. All right, we'll go this way. Oh, that's unreachable still. Uh, all right, we will go down because I want to grab the Weeze Ward and we might want more battery space. So we might want to mine this down. And then there's a Weeze Ward here that I might grab as well. I want to bring the Weeze Wards home just as a passive cooling. It's better than nothing. Weezes are a good radiation source. Yeah. That's actually what this is doing. But all the cold energy here doesn't amount to much. Because it's fighting the battery heat up top. I might just want to take this off though. And just run uh, the, red, the lead line here. Dude, I will. Let's actually fix that. Such a weird situation here. Actually, let's do it like that. We want to remove that. Let's get the lead here. And then that's just a battery line. Oh, we could just have this attached. So we do that. And then we would run something like this. There we go. And then that line would be connected. And then we don't need these wheels. And then we wouldn't need these batteries. And then that would mean we just need to feed the lead, probably like that, into the top. That's not bad at all. Uh, rad bolts. Okay. Let's plug this back in so that we can just charge the rads. Everything seems good. All right. So back to here. So for Tamer. Oh, snap. We got the copper, baby. All right. Let's remove that. Let's remove this. Let's remove that. This is going to be a Weezwort spot. You're gonna give me you're gonna give me some help. Yo man, sometimes you need the help though. You never know. Uh alright, so this is gonna be checked. Guys, I gotta pee real bad. I have to be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to pee real bad.
Hey guys, we back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, we gotta do the cheese strat for gloss. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of heat again. Ah, uh, that kind of sucks. That is what it is, though. We gotta do it. At least for now, right? Uh, so we will want to do that. Just to get rid of the gas accumulating here. I guess moving it closer to the bottom might be wiser. Alright, and then this part. We're gonna start cooling out that tile set. It'll never take me alive. Yo, man, the copper is this nice. Realistically, I might just want to run that. Because technically, that's that's always going to be a better line. Alright, we have the lads. This shouldn't be a bad set. Oh, I guess we have to go around. There we go. Lurk for a bit to eat dinner. Oh, got you, Julie. You're in? You're actually in? Oh, Julie, what did you eat? Yo, 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 we got a guess. Julie had fish tacos. I'm gonna guess fish tacos. Mom, I heard you, babies. What you doing over there? Oh. I got a splendid item. Red-bellied Atmos suit. Oh, chip. Feels bad. The Atmo suit items, man, are the worst. Chips and guac. Oh, I see you over there. Classic guac. Did you pay extra for that? Asking for a friend if you did. <laughs> you have to pay extra for guac, man. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use obsidian here. Alright, hopefully this is going to be fine. Eight at home, homemade guac. I see you over there. Yo, man, even when I even when I eat at home, they make me pay extra for guac, dude. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Alright, charging. All right, Ravco, you're here. Do the swap. Matixo's in as well. Matixo, do the swap as well. Nice. So we do the swap for more oxygen. We're going to need power here. And then this is going to dump the oxygen into the suit line so that we have oxygen. And then how much power do we have? Battery says 64 out of 100. Dude, we're still good. All right, so this is going to shoot to the right. Uh, and then we're going to need power. So the thing about this is technically... I might want to automate this. Because the problem with this is that this is constant draw. So since this is constant draw, and it's a wheeze wart, mm, yeah, minimum 200. No, the heat sink's going to be on the ground. I could run the radiant pipe touching this. Because this might be a lot of heat, actually. Ah, uh... Yeah, that's actually why I'm thinking I might need more solar panels. Now, the upside is, is that once we cool this down, we wouldn't really need to power the Aqua Tutor too often. Because the amount of heat you actually generate with the sulfur is very little. Will the water not block the radiation? Water is not perfect radiation shield. So it's going to be fine. Uh, this might be the best. So here, 155, and then the water, 118. So while it blocks a little bit, it's not perfect. 
could move it up one. No. It's... I need the base tile touching the bottom so that it could chill the generator. Otherwise, the generator doesn't have cooling. That's actually why we need it like that. So we have to take an efficiency loss just so that the setup's clean. And then the thing I'm not sure about is that... Alright, well, let's, let's do some math. Every eruption period, we get 5.7 kilograms. So 5.7, and then it's erupting for 284 for every 600 seconds. So I get about 1.6 tons. So that's 8 to 9. It's going to be 8 shots per cycle. So we're going to be behind. We're actually going to be really behind. I just realized that. And we're out of ice. Aw, oh, snap. We actually ran out of ice? Alright, let's mine this part then. Radiator plate could work too. It can. But I was thinking if I wanted to run the radiant pipe over that or not. While we could, I don't know if that's wise. It's probably okay though. So it looks like this is going to be the deciding factor. Yeah, if we do a conducting panel, we would move this up and then shoot it down diagonally. Which would work. The only problem with that is, is that I think you need to dedicate an aqua tuner on it to keep it. Nah, actually, that's only if it's running 24%. We'll try this first. If it breaks, we'll come back. <laughs> if it breaks, we'll come back. Alright, so... We need to get some water. We're gonna get some ice. We're gonna mine this out. We're gonna get some batteries at the bottom. Alright, we're gonna do the liquid layer here, and we're gonna try to fill up the pipeline. So, we're gonna be doing this first. Radiant pipeline. And then, does that mean we have enough ice? It does. Let's go. Alright, we get that. They're having some food, okay. We'll have to get some water in here. We would have to attach it down here, which would be... Oh, I don't have the vent line. Oh, I needed to mine some copper for that. Hey man, let me get some copper. What are we doing over here? Oh, he's sleeping. That's what he's doing over there. Alright, that's fine. So they're doing that. Some downtime. How is this? The wire is almost built, I was going to say. Still sweeping, which is okay. Let's mine the insides. Let's try to prioritize anything on the ledge. Oh, the items are going to fall down on top, though. It's not really a big deal, then. Yeah... Now, how is the water accumulating? 27. It's not bad. Everything is cooled down a bit. All the water is gone. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let me upgrade this. That seems kind of excessive, but I think what what's, we're going to do right now is we're going to dump the water. And then we're going to mop it back up, and it's going to go through the system again. I think that makes sense, because we want to just loop the water anyways, so that we could generate steam, and then drop the cold water back on the meal wood. <laughs> it's a cooling method for now, man. It's kind of jank. Uh, the water spill, though, is a little off. Uh, it would be like that. Let's do it like that, so that the water spills this way. Oh, that doesn't do anything for us. <laughs> Never mind. We'll just spill the water here. Conductive panel. Forgot the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Conductive panel does work. It does work. 
Alright, we're waiting for this. And then how's the power here? Nice. We don't have enough power. Let's go with 20 steel. Generate some more juice. Alright, it's probably the AQ dragging out all the power. So let's unconnect that. Temp shift plates. Oh, we got a little bit of water. Not bad. It's looping, boys. Alright, so did we get enough for the vent? There it is. After we get that, we need to seal this up. We are not going to have a temp shift plate in here. It's not really going to matter. All the water in the world. At zero degrees. Wow. Steady lines going great. We actually have more than enough. Nice. There's no seals in this game, although the gassy moves come close. <laughs> that's, that's true, though. Alright, so let's add some more right here. So this liquid layer right here doesn't actually need to be filled, but I do want a decent amount of mass here so that it doesn't get uh, bought by the sulfur. So we're going to probably get this to around 200, 250 kilograms. Right, and we'll wait for the corner to actually get it. Because the water is going to be left side heavy. Just because that's where it's dripping at. And of course, this is an estimate. It doesn't actually have to be there or close. It just have to be close. Oh, okay, we'll just, we'll just empty out the line then. Alright, so now we just need a little bit of water here. That is going to be one temperature plate. Okay, get that last one. It's going to be for the liquid layer over here. This is active. Nice. And then igneous rock. Okay, so steel. Oh, this is not connected on this side. Uh, we probably want that so that I have a chance of disconnecting everything if I really need to. And then we need water on this level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water on this level is going to be easy. We just got to build a temp shift plate here. There should be nothing that actually boils the ice. <laughs> Just want to make sure nothing here is above 100, because this is the magma planet. It's always scary. This is no longer needed. We did the liquid lock. All right, so this is good. We need to open that. All right, let's seal that up, because if you're on this side, you have to come in from that side, which is fair. And then we just need the lead tiles, a little bit of water. We're going to be good. Do a suit swap. This is how many people? It's just Ravco. Okay. Oh, nonstop naps is right there. No, you got to change the suit. This guy is having a, a dump. Or after he's done eating, we'll give him a suit. Catching his breath. You could wear the suit. You go here. You go here. This guy leveled up while sleeping. What a stud. Oh, come on. Wear the suit. Oh, come on, man. Why'd you get up and sleep up top? You're further away now. Are you awake? There we go. Wear the suit. Nice. Not bad. Alright, so I will automate this because I remember doing... Uh, remember, potentially this might be... A, oh, why is this made out of steel? I might want to turn this off. At any given point. So this is probably the smart thing to do. All right, we're going to seal that. This is no longer needed. Uh, we could dump the rest of the water into here. This is no longer needed. 
And then I do want to connect this here. So how wide is this? Five. So this is 800 divided by five. That's how much? 170? 140. 140 for time. That's a little much. And then it's the same thing here. Okay, that's not bad then. Wait, why aren't we pumping? Oh, it's not connected. There we go. Let's get some water in. That weird small bubble line right there, it's a little worrying. So we don't actually need a lot of water here, we just need enough to make contact with the radiant pipe. Okay, igneous. Oh, this is liquid pipe? Oh, it was supposed to be insulated. <laughs> Messed it up. Alright, a little bit of water. Alright, that's good enough. We have to disconnect the vents. Let's move the sandstone up top. And then everything is ready. Let's seal this down. Alright, let's go. We're almost done, y'all. We're almost done. Uh, I realistically should seal that up as well. Okay. We haven't analyzed this. I will consider analyzing that. So we're not going to drip the water here until we get the wall. Otherwise, we get steam. It's going to be bad for us for a lot of reasons. And then we got a print about. Ooh, guys, do we need dupes? We don't, right? We don't need dupes anymore? You know what? I'm still gonna take dupes. We're gonna take Lyra. Thug life. I'm in. Oh, there it is. Cool energy. Let's go. So we're gonna be bleeding out some of the cooling properties of our Aqua Tuner. That way we can start cooling the base ever so slowly. And then are we making metals? We are not. And we have a lot of heat. Nice. And we have a little bit of heat stockpiled. Nice. So we have the power. I feel like he man. I got the power. Alright boys, it's time for the cheese strat of the day. What's the cheese strat? We're gonna drip molten ice into here. Molten ice, molten glass. The walls are gonna absorb it and it spawns at 20 degrees. And then that's gonna chill down. Can you explain to me the stored heat? Uh, so, stored heat is in the form of oil. So what we're doing here is oil actually has very low stats. It's the basis for this. Now we have to fight. No, no fights, man. No fights. What are we looking at? Oh, right here. The specific heat capacity of crude oil is pretty low. Out of all the waters, this is a pretty low value. All the waters, all the liquids. This is a low value. So because of that low value, it's a little bit tough for the uh, oil in the meta refinery. Because we have a low SHC value, um, value that I was just looking at right now. So crude oil, SHC right here, 1.69. The lower your value, the higher the amount of heat you add on by smelting. So normally, if I used water here, that value instead of 138 is 54. I think it's 57 actually. So this is about 2.5 times the amount of temperature, raw temperature, not actual DTUs. And that's because of the low SXC value. So that's important because this means you could reach a top end temperature that's a higher value because your oil is at a higher value itself. So it's basically the idea that you can't hit 200 degrees without something being above 200 degrees, right? Because you're heating something up to that point. So in our case, we use oil. Now our oil here is around 324 degrees. So we're running it through the steam turbine room. It keeps it close to 200 uh, degrees Celsius. It's at 199, 186, depending on where you're at. And by having that, you get steam turbines operating at max power. Now, of course, inside is actually what's known as a stored heat. That heat that's being absorbed by the steam is actually going to determine 
uh, the volume of the steam or the mass of the steam inside is going to determine how long that power will last. Because it means that it's going to be slower to heat up the steam, but that also means that the water you're adding in to cool down the steam is going to cool it down slower, effectively allowing you to draw power for a longer period of time. Of course, you know, that's a trade off, right? To kickstart this, to get this hot enough, and then having the steel just run through like very slowly to draw you out some power. It's going to mean that you're going to have to make more steel, but it's also going to last longer. That's stored heat, effectively. So, by using the turbines on that, we get all the battery power here, and then we use it for other things. Hopefully that makes sense, though, if that's what you're referencing. x cage. But yeah, technically power positive. Isn't that kind of wild? Technically it is. You can see that we're getting 1,600 watts per second, and even if the aqua tuner is running non-stop, uh, we cover that. The thing is, is that this typically shouldn't be 100% uptime. Yeah, it's 41%. Of course, though, if we weren't using this to cool down the Drekkel Ranch and cooling down the batteries and the metal refinery, we'd probably have a lot more power to use. I'm probably bleeding out the power right here. Because we're cooling this tile. And this is an open tile in front of the batteries. But this is to cool the meta refinery itself. Gotta fight the power. No man, we don't fight the power. We fight the magma, baby. That's what we fight. Gotta fight the mag. Alright, did we do the things? I think we did. Okay, so the copper... Uh, let's move this inside. Alright, so this is clean. Now we connect this here. See how much water we get inside. You gotta fight for your right to party, dude. There we go. That's the way it's done, man. You gotta fight for your right to party. Dude, my siblings used to listen to a lot of that when we were young. All right, so we're gonna get 33 kilograms of steam per tile. That's actually really good. So this is fine. We actually have no free water to drip into here, which is okay as well. I see a pro gamer. A pro gamer knows the song. I wouldn't mind some more ice. I really wouldn't. Let's get one more. All right, nice, nice, nice. So we're still trying to go down and get the wart seeds. I still want that. And then the planetary launcher is ready. The construction I think is good. We're just going to remove some of the excess stuff. Uh, I want to get a little bit more water here. And then I guess for this, we got to set this up. There we go. For reasons, I think this should be a steel door. It's not going to matter because this is a vacuum, so even if this gets hot, it's not going to tra uh, transfer any heat. So, having this be a door is perfectly fine. And then... The only thing I'm really worried about is this at 100 degrees. Hopefully it doesn't heat anything up. Oh, wait! If a wheeze ward is in a vacuum, is it emanating radiation? Oh, no, bro. I actually don't know how that works. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Hold up, y'all. Because it's going to be in a vacuum. A wheeze ward technically needs to consume gas. That's how it operates. Right? Consuming... Oh, well, it's consuming vacuum. Ah, dude. I don't actually know. I think it... I think it... I think it does the thing where it whittles up. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, we don't have any wart seeds back at home. Because I think it's going to shrivel up and look like it's unfertilized. That's what I'm thinking, but I might just be wrong straight up. 
Oh man. What's going on, Half Pint? How are you? Welcome in, welcome in. We are trying to think about if a Weeze Ward even operates here. If we wild plant a Weeze Ward, will the Weeze Ward actually... It totally stops growing a vacuum, but the radiation being made second, like shine bugs still radiate when crowded, but no light. Oh, that's true. Shine bugs do emit radiation regardless of state. Maybe that's correct. Maybe that's correct. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Hopefully it's fine, though. But yeah, right now, half pint, we just, uh, hopefully, we'll have the sulfur tamer ready. But outside of that, doing all right. It's Thursday's blueprint reset day. There's nothing to be angry about. Well, there's a lot to be angry about. Yo, man, my car check engine light went back on, and I went to the auto zone, and it's like some sensor is failing, and then I had a service hybrid light warning went up. Oh, man, it's not a good time. <laughs> It's not good. I gotta take my car to the shop, man. What's the best way to get food for your second planet? Have food on your second planet. Uh, a lot of the times, it's going to be uh, just what I would recommend is find a food item that lasts 32 days. So that's either growth for preserve, 32 cycles, or you could do pickled meal. That's also 32 cycles. Since it lasts 32 cycles, you are only worried about making sure polluted oxygen doesn't get to it. And then you could refrigerate it and it'll last even longer. Right? Put it in a powered fridge. That would probably be the easiest. You just use a building and then make sure you have meal lice. Send it over via the teleporter. Right? You got to use the uh, supply teleporter on your second planet for that. But that's what it probably be the easiest to be honest set up the teleporter turn it on get a fridge send the food that lasts for a while and then uh yeah just use that to get by send food every so often wouldn't be too bad this is the setup i have you lock the door and then just sweep the items to here when you need it and then unlock the door so that you could sweep the items and then you send all the items through with the auto sweeper Not sure if that's what you're looking for though, Half Pint. Let me know if you have anything that's like stopping you from doing that. Or if there's uh, something else you're trying to do instead. Alright, I do want to get more water, so we're going to dump this. Alright, there's water here that I'm also thinking about running. Because we're getting a lot of water from that. I might want to use the water for something else. Oh, I could use this water. I forgot about that. Uh, I can't get to that line though, right? I will need a pipeline right here. I guess that'd be fine. Yeah, I just need some way of setting up the survivability of two, three dupes to build an oil reservoir. Yeah, I would say that if anything, uh, if you could see your composition, you could find like a sandstone biome or a Sweetle biome wasteland. Both of those typically have a lot of food. Oh, I was going to say maybe you have food in one of the biomes, maybe from a critter or something. You could always keep that as emergency food. But yeah, if you checked it out, it's all polluted oxygen and no food. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. All right, all right. Let the rain fall down. Let's go. That's going to be the warm water, and we'll mop it up. All right. There's also water here. We'll probably want to mop. All right. How are we back here? Are we done? Steam turbine almost done. Ah, snap. Okay. They got to do the seat swamp, which is fine. Oh, we're out of power. All right, this is going to be Matikso. All right, so we have charged suits. What are we missing? Uh, temp shift plate. Oh, we're not. We don't have enough ice. No way. No, we have enough ice right here. Okay, we just have to wait. Is that turbine being made out of lead? Yes. 
Turbines are weird. Um, if you didn't know, turbines overheat temperature is a thousand. Because turbines never overheat. So you could actually build turbines out of lead, and it's actually perfectly fine. Because you're never going to hit that temperature. <laughs> so steam turbines, they don't actually overheat. They have an issue where... Oh, more worry about the melting. Yeah, I can see that, I guess. I It's not a metal volcano, so I'm not too worried about it. True, 327 melting point. Luckily, this is only like a, you know, 165. All right, we're almost ready. How come we're not doing the ice right here, man? Oh, it's always a breathing issue. Oh, and the water's spilling back. That's funny. Oh, this is very breathable. What are they talking about? How is it that none of the ice... Dude, what is this? How can we have like 20 commands? Dude, this has got to be a glitch. It's a glitch. Dude, he supplied this like 15 times. Come on, man. That's actually a glitch. Yeah, multiple supply errands. So what normally happens is that they pick it up and combine it into one pile. That's typically how that should happen. He'll pick up the miniature piles, but it becomes one pile and consolidates, and then he delivers it all at once. The fact that he's doing multiple deliveries like that is kind of weird. Oh, it looks like he doesn't need to do that one anymore, though. Okay, so this is ready. Alright, so let's look at this. This is good. Radiant pipe. It's touching the water. Drop is good for the drip in, feed in. Uh, automation is in. This is... We can't actually use 6.9. It's too hot. Or uh, it's too cold. Let's use 20 degrees. This is nice cold 20 degrees. Let's use 18 degrees. Nice cold 18 degrees. Should be fine. Yeah, and all we need is a little bit of water right here now. Alright, not too bad. For whatever reason, they can't use this 829. That looks really off. Oh, oh. Oh, Rav goes in. Nice. Alright, we're going to change the suit. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's asleep. Someone else come in, we'll swap the suits. Wait, does this even have oxygen? Because we're out of power, right? Oh, it doesn't have oxygen. I feel like that sometimes. Alright. There's no place to drip the water. Uh, that means we feed the water into here and get some over here. Okay. It's time, y'all. Let's get some water on this layer. And we just gotta hope it never boils. <laughs> There's magma right here, man. There's magma right there. Alright, meter showers. You don't get any over here, so it's fine. There we go. You got it, you got it. There's magma in them hills. Now nah, we safe, we safe. All right, give me my water. This is going to be a layer of water. And it's going to effectively connect the buildings to the tile space. All right. It's 
not actually a lot. Damn, that's a lot of water. All right, we'll just empty that out. All right, and then I think with that, we would be ready. All right, so we're no longer going to power this. We're no longer going to use that. We could just leave it there, to be honest. Uh, let's get rid of the vents. Realistically, we don't really care if we leave the pipeline there, I don't think. All right, let's get rid of it, though. And then we'll leave it up to the wall. So everything here should be good. There is a wire there. Automation is connected. Nice. And then we'd be able to uproot that. All right, that's two Weezworts. We're going to keep one here. And then one of them we bring inside. And then we have two right here still that I'm probably going to want to grab. We could bring both of these back and then take one of these later on. And then the water is also cold enough and we don't need to run the aqua tuner. Okay. I have don't everything in this game. I am stop cooling other planets. What? Wait, what? What happened, man? Yo, man, I understand some of those words. Yo, man, we gotta try again, man. Like, I'm, yo, man. I'm gonna be real. That was a struggle, man. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, so we gonna try this again? Evil can evil. I see you over there. I'm not actually sure what the problem is. But yeah, let me know, man. Let me know. Yeah, yeah, finish finish eating. I'll be here. Do your thing. Collect the thoughts. You got it, man. Take your time. No rush. You'll be fine. All right, so all the materials there, everything there. We should be ready. All right, let's go home. Wait, wait, wait. Did we grab the wart seed? We did. Okay. So wart seed goes inside. And then we get the second wart seed in here all right we do both and then we drop the pip uh what happens to meats if my pip dies in the magma does the meat eventually rot like i don't know how that works does it become gas I feel like the, the pip's gonna walk into this, man. Bad news bears. Ah, uh, you're bad at colonizing other asteroids and you're looking for advice. Uh, what is your current strategy to colonize other planets? Talk me through it. And then I'll point out what you could improve on or uh, parts that maybe aren't wise. Could you seal it just in case? Uh... So the smart thing to do would be to box up the pit. Pathing wise, you can go inside, which is fine. There's nothing really on the left side that hurts them. It's really getting into this pocket. So I guess it's right here. That's like really the only bad spot. All right, this is hot though. <laughs> So I guess I do it like that, so it doesn't touch any hot tiles. Because the thing with colonizing other planets, it's... Uh, let me know how you do it, and I'll, I'll show you uh, what it is that you could do relative to that. I'm stable on the main planet. I tried teleporting to the marshy near my asteroid, but it went badly. Oh... You don't have a strategy. Oh, okay, so it sounds like you haven't dealt with rocketry yet. Okay. So, <laughs> using the teleporter and then using the rocket are two different things. The teleporter that you're utilizing 
is effectively going to be uh, this one, right? And it teleports you to a specific planet. No, no, no. It's 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 more so that you haven't used the other strategy yet, which is the intended strategy. So since you haven't mentioned the other strategy, I'm assuming you haven't really played with rockets. There is a difference between having rockets and playing with rockets, though. It's kind of like uh, like mastery, right? Because once you have played with rockets, you would have this setup. Well, this is ideally what you would want for a rocket setup. But uh, let's talk about the teleporter. We're not going to get into that because you're not there yet. Using the teleporter, this charges in five days, five cycles. And a lot of the times when you click on this, it's going to tell you your composition. My sister planet or second teleport planet is this planet. And you could click on it. And it's going to give you your meteor shower type of geysers and your biomes breakdown. Your biome breakdown is probably the most important. It's going to tell you what's over there so that you could either A, uh, be prepared before going, or B, you could just dive in, right? Uh, either case is probably fine. So when you go to that planet, you're going to be in a room like this. You're probably going to have a frozen friend and then teleport back. A lot of the times, what you want to do is immediately try to look for the teleporters. The supply teleporter input and supply teleporter output. You're always going to have this if you teleport to the planet. This requires the skill field research for you to actually turn them on. So if you do want to turn them on so that you can connect the planets with your supplies, you're going to need the skill on the dupe that's over here. Now, of course, back at home, you're going to have to turn it on on this side as well. So you have this, right? You have to uh, turn it on. There's a button you're going to be able to press. Uh, no, once you turn it on, though, it's going to go away. But there's a button you press, it turns it on. And then that's going to be how you connect to planets. So that way you could send food over to there. So what I did was I made pickled meal lice, right? Because pickled meal lice last a whopping 32 cycles, right? Spoil time. So that means I send food sparingly every so often when they need it. And what they do is they just survive over here. I don't have dupes here anymore. Uh, we got everything we need. We set up the geyser tamer to grab the uh, polluted water. And everything's automated now on a battery setup right here. So it's it's nice. But for the most part, yeah, that's what you would do for food. If you really need to, you can make some bathrooms here, make a bed. That's up to you at that point. But that would be how you would colonize the teleporter planet. Of course, this is a rare exception in a sense that you only get one of these per playthrough. Technically, it's not rare, it's common, but you only get one time, right? So take all the resources in the back. That's up to you. You don't have to. You can just take what you need. Sometimes people are just trying to grab something specific like a plant or a critter egg. Or maybe they're trying to get uranium if that's what you have over here. In my case, I wanted just the water. Everything else was bonus resources. I could grab them, but I don't need to. And it's nice to kind of have it there as like a fail safe. So in my case, I just grabbed the dirt. That's what I dug out. And the water. You're missing all in-game achievements. Uh, so that sounds like it's all rocketry stuff, not so much in-game achievements. Do you have GMO AOK? -okay? I feel like anything associated with the rocket might be holding you back. So droconing, uh, planetary missions, artifacts, soft launch. Uh, what else is there? Oh, you don't have GMO AOK. -okay. That one is probably going to be the most time consuming. That one's not rockets, it's radiation. You're going to have fun with that. <laughs> oh, GMO AOK -okay was the worst, man. That's all I got to say. Mm -mm, that stuff was bad news. Oh, you've, if, you, if you've landed on other planets, you should be fine. So I don't actually understand what the problem is that you're running into because it sounds like as i'm explaining this you know all the things i'm telling you so i don't know where you're having problems at then because it sounds like you got it even before rockets though like i don't understand where you had problems with because if just using the teleport and how i explained it sounds like you knew about all that I'm just not sure um, how I could help you because it just sounds like you know everything. 
I, I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you then, man. Good luck, I guess. I don't know. Was that a flood? No, we're not. Okay, we're good. But yeah, unless you have a specific question, like general advice, I can't help you with. Just because it's going to be like, I don't know where you're at. And I just explained and apparently you knew everything. So it's like, I don't think I can help you with that. This is spaced out. This is spaced out. This is the magma planet. I don't have anything here. I'm trying to grab sulfur right now. So this is this planet. I live over here. This is where my dupes are actually at. Alright, so we're gonna head back. So we need to bring back a pip so that we can do the Radbolt charge. And then we'll have this turned on. Uh, we grab the wart seed. Everything should be good. We don't really need the batteries, I don't think. The aqua tuner should be fine. Yeah. We're gonna need to do that. I think I'm going to open this tile so we get ambient radiation. Won't you clog the geyser? I don't know how. How would you clog the geyser? Fruits? Yeah, grub fruits. We have seeds back at home, actually. I grabbed that on the very first mission. 19 seeds. I guess we could grab more. But we have to make sure we can bring one of these little baby pips. Unclog. Oh, uh, remove the tile. Yeah, we'll do that when we get back. We'll do that when we get back. Uh, so that means I need to make sure one of these guys is a rancher. Wow, none of you guys are in ranchers. Okay, so we're going to remove... I think it's Matikso. No, he's the Mechatronics. Do we need Mechatronics anymore? Digging skill, I'm thinking we need. No, we don't. It's cool. Yeah, we're going to remove non-stop naps. And then we're going to remove the coal tile. And then we should be ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. So once I landed on my planet, my dupes had limited time on the asteroid. I'm thinking what I might do is practice setting my rockets to the closest planetoid, colonize the one that teleport goes to. Uh, yeah, you could do that. That's always a thing. I like to base inside my rocket. So a lot of the times that, oh, I'm putting food in here, dude. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, it's just rotting in here. Oh, it feels bad. They were just putting food inside. That was not good, dude. This is just rotting. Yeah, we need a rancher to move the pip, so we're going to have to replace non-stop naps. So you could do that for practice. It's not bad. What I do is I just live inside my rocket, and all you have to do is, realistically, you just want one of these. You just want a rocket platform. That way you could land, right? And then once you have that, you're always able to land. That's realistically all you need to do. And then once you do that, just make sure you have enough fuel and you're fine. That's a strategy you're looking for, but it, it's not a strategy though. <laughs> you know what you need to do. There's no strategy there. Just land, build a platform and leave. I guess what I'm saying is that there's nothing special that you need to do. It sounds like you know what you need to do. It just becomes something you need to practice. You got it, man. My rocket's weird. I have a special rocket. I could show you when I launch again. Because we already launched on this side. I would have been able to show you how it works, but we'll wait. Because we're going to fly back with a pip. Once we fly back, I'll show you how that works. And we're no power again. Okay, we got to do this. Uh Oh, dude. No, no eggshells to lime. Okay, we get 12. Dude, we go through all the lime, dude. This never has power. Man, we go through all the power, man. I guess this is barely able to keep itself. Is that rocket your home? Yeah, more or less. Our temporary home. This is the real home base, though, down here. I still need a power source, I guess. This is not enough to realistically feed everything else, it seems. Oh, wait. 
you're not playing on space down? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you're playing on classic size. That's what you're saying. Uh, that realistically doesn't change anything. Playing on classic means you could stay on your first planet a lot longer, which is probably going to be better for you, realistically. So I think you should stick to the classic. Because if you play on DLC, spaced out size, it's going to be smaller like this. And that means you have to leave and have everything a lot faster. If you're not going to be able to do that, you actually lose and have no way to really like catch up, so to speak, because you're going to have to regenerate the oxygen, re remake the food. It's going to run out a lot faster. The space out wouldn't change anything for that. It would realistically only make it so that you would have to leave a lot faster. Yo, man, practice on that save then. You got it. Just practice. That's what it sounds like. You just gotta practice. Alright. This is cold. Wow. This is barely warm. Oh, that probably hurts me, doesn't it? Uh, let's do that. I think that might hurt me, because it might mean that the, uh, yeah, I think that means the oxygen here is warmer as a result. What's going on, LLG? What's going on, man? How is the Thursdays? How was your days? Can you give me a tour for colonizing, living? How many dupes do you take? I take one dupe. <laughs> I only ever take one dupe. Now, if you're building something on the other planet, that's depending on how many dupes you want. Because that's going to dictate the layout of your rocket. Uh, for the most part, though, there's no specific layout. You realistically just need these two. You need a trailblazer and you need a rover, right? No, 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 no. We're talking about necessities here. You don't need beds ever in this game. <laughs> We're talking about necessities. You can't do this without these specific things. Everything else that's optional, you got to throw that out. So first thing you need is a rover and you need a trailblazer, right? You're going to need these two. Uh, a lot of times you cannot do this with the CO2 rocket. You're going to need something larger than that, larger than 10 tiles. So I would probably recommend steam engine. You get, I think it's what? Yeah, you get 25 with this height tiles. So it's pretty good. So for the most part, you need both of these, and then you could use a nose cone or the nose cone I have here. There's the space ferrer nose cone too, this one. That's if you don't have the regular space ferrer unlocked. And then afterwards, you're going to want to have suits. You want this inside and charged, right? Nothing else matters. And then you need to make sure you have oxygen inside and then a little bit of food, right? After you do that, I would also recommend uh, sending a dupe that has digging skill and building skill. It's always recommended. Make sure you have water for your toilets. Nothing else is necessary. After you have that rocket built, because this is for something else, uh, you could launch and then you got it. All right, so let's speed this up. All right, all right. We're gonna have this here. And we're gonna be waiting for the magma rocket to get back, point two. All right, how was the cheese? Oh man, I don't, I'm scared to look inside. <laughs> so we made glass and we dumped it inside because it's a cheese strat. Woo! Damn, 200 degrees. Dude, this glass is hot. God damn. Y'all see this? 700 degree glass. And the heat transfer is slow. All right, so the trick is, is we're going to build glass things. 
Uh, what can you make out of glass in this game? You use it for the lead suit. Is that it? Storage tile. You need glass for that. Outside of that, it's just this. Alright, let's build this out. Oh, temperature plates. You can make that out of glass? Wait, can you? Oh, you can't. Oh, dude. Cancel that. That's what I need. Glass temperature plates. Two of these babies. Oh, let's go. There we go, there we go. Alright, we'll just build out the temp shift plants. And our rocket's back, nice. Alright, so we're gonna have to recharge this. So we have to cut this line. Just like that. And let's do that. Alright, that's good. This is decent temperature. We should ground this, and we gotta refill that. We gotta move out the wart seed. That's going to be to here. We got to find a pip that's not too old. 62, that's not too old. Six, they're both 62? Oh, what about one of these guys? Oh, they're cramps. Our man, he's young. We can move him inside. The rocket we need is the Mars X. There we go. Is this the third time today? It is. Be like that though sometimes. Temperature, I could probably maintain it a little bit better. And then 12 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry about that LOG. Uh, I got spaced out. Is the rocket fuel calculation a pain in the butt is in classic based on distance number of modules fuel ETC? No. The rocketry in Spaced Out is 100% better. It is more proper to our video game logic. So, no, it is not the same, and it is very straightforward. So, you know about the base game, how the rocket calculation for the fuel calculation is based off of how much internal weight you have for the rocket itself. And dependent on the weight factor, that's actually a... Uh, variable within the equation in and of itself so it's like the weight affects the formula right so you're gonna have a varying uh function because of that that's not the case in space now in space now it works properly and what i mean when i say that is is that you have to only think about uh the engine so the engine is the main factor in travel distance in this game versus the uh, classic version so depending on which engine you have and how much fuel relative to the max you have, you're going to be able to travel X amount of distance regardless of size. Instead, the size of the rocket doesn't impact distance, it impacts speed. So how fast you get from point A to point B. So that's the only thing that's variable now, driving speed. The distance is going to be flat and tied to the engine itself. Weight does not matter for, uh, does not matter for that anymore. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, LOG, uh, Heister, Heisterik. 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 Hister? Hysterik. Dude, how do you pronounce your name, dude? I need some help. Aw, oh, snap. This is actually capped off. The latter. Hysterik. Hysterik. So it's like history, but it's historique. It smells like history in here. Dude, is that like a Green Day song? What the heck is that? All right, we got the pip. We don't need that much water. All right, we gotta change the crew. Uh, so we don't need non-stop naps. Probably don't even need Matiksu in here. 
we were gonna need someone with ranching skill. It's gonna be probably you pick. You pick, I think, was. Here we go. You pick, you pick. You pick ranching. Nice. All right, good, good, good. No, it was based on the Muse's Stong Hysteria. Ah, and I was young. Ah, these attempts are hysterical. Leo, please. I'm a human man. I'm gonna make mistakes. I see you over there as well. <clears throat> All right, we're ready. We are good on the inside. We don't need extra oxygen. We should be fine. As long as the suits are charged. And then all we gotta do is empty out the tank anyways. Yeah, that's not connected. This is fine. Alright, and we have food inside. 20 kgs at 84%. I'm not even mad. Alright, crew change. Ravco is driving, right? You pick Ravco. Nice. Uh, it's a young pit. When I was 17 years old, how's that song go? When I was, damn, I don't know how that song goes anymore. When I was young, man, how's that song go, man? If I die young, oh, there we go. Bury me in satin. Laid me down. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know why. That song's popping in my head right now. Alright, we're good though. Let's go. We got the pip. We're good. That's all we need, right? Just the pip. Oh, we needed the glass? Oh, I forgot about the glass. Alright, we'll go back again. But this time when we go, we'll turn it on. There we go. 45 degrees. Alright, so now the trick is... We want to deconstruct this, and everything comes out, but the walls that are hot does not come out. So we get the glass coming out, and all the materials we spent inside. But because the hot is be is associated with the building we deconstruct, none of the heat gets absorbed. So we should have a clean setup here. Look at that! No heat at all. And we get all the glass, 1600 kilograms. Wow, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, so if I want to do it again, though, I have to build a new rocket platform. Cheese fondue, man. It was really good cheese, though. Can't be mad. It was really good cheese. Uh, we'll do it again. Why not? We're going to need more glass than that, more likely. Pokey shell? Nope. Snap. So I'd take this guy for the lime, but he's kind of dangerous. We gotta give him room. Oh, we can hang out here. Oh, dude, this guy's gonna grow gills. He's gonna grow gills, boys. No, he's miserable. Never mind. No gills for him. Unreachable food. Oh, you're not allowed to eat this. So this is you. We're gonna allow some of the other people to eat uh, pickled meal. It's fine. We'll allow that, we'll allow that. This is not grounded. I don't want him to get jabated. Alright. Let's go, let's go. How long is this? 0.7, okay. So after that's done, we're gonna have to go to here and then potentially think about how we want to do this. The problem with this is that this is a large map and we're gonna have to actually like try to defend ourselves. That's gonna be fun. Hello, I have a question about pips. Do they have a certain algorithm when planning depending on location or just random? It's algorithm. It's a rule. Uh, best way to describe it's like this. Oh, I don't have people here. All right, we're going to go on this planet. Oh, I don't have people here either. All right, to go on this planet. All right. So in this game, we have something known as pit planting rules. So pit planting rules are actually very simple. When you're planting a... Uh, when your pip is trying to plant something, it's going to look for plantable tiles. So those plantable tiles is anything with a hardness value below a value. 
So hardness, if you're not familiar with, click on anything that's a natural tile. Built tiles and buildings will not have this. So it has to be a natural tile. So on the igneous here, go into the status, scroll down, hardness value. This is 25. The pips could plant on anything that's less than 150. So obsidian is at 200. Abyssalite is at 150. And then diamonds is... Uh, where is my diamonds? Come on, I have diamond here, right? Oh, did I mine all my diamond? Yo, oh no, it's right here. Diamond is 250. So we can't build on top of those uh, those tiles. I believe any refined metal falls into that same category. So any refined metal. Oh, we actually have that right here, right? Oh, this is only 50? I don't know if the pip could plant in this, actually. It shouldn't be able to plant in refined metal. Because it should share the same rules as the shovel. But I digress. Either way, uh, those three materials, abyssalite, obsidian, and diamond, are typically you can't plant on top of. So that's the material rule. You could only plant on natural tiles, and those tiles have to have a value hardness less than that value. Second thing is, is the planting itself. If you are planting on this tile, you are going to be looking for... So you go right to left. That means it's five, right? So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's six. Six, five. So this is actually the range. Wait, wait, wait. No, it should be top down. So it's here and that's here. There we go. So the range is like this. It's a box. It's not a circle, it's a box. And it's relative to where you're planting. So this is the tile where you're planting. You're gonna be planting the plant itself on top of that. From that tile, one, two, three, four, five. You cannot have anything within five up, five to the right, six to the left, and six to the bottom. That means that everything in this range is your coverage area. It's a 10 by 10 and it's not centered, it's slightly off to the right. Now, within that range, you have these rules. You could only have three plants, natural or domestically planted. Doesn't matter if they're decor plants or mealwood plants or even a wheeze wort, it doesn't matter. All plants are considered. Uh, second thing is, you have something known as plant rules. You have to fulfill the rules of these plants for the plants to be planted. So the first rule is air pressure. Almost every plant, except decor plants, have an air pressure value, I think, above 150. I don't believe uh, decor values or decor plants have that value. So if you have CO2, because your dupe breeds out 20 grams at a time of CO2, that could actually bop you. It's probably the most common kind of like stealth bopper. It's like, oh, I can't plant this. It's because there's a small thing of CO2 on the tile, if you didn't notice. Second thing is uh, from the plant itself, you have a temperature range. You actually have to be within 30 degrees Celsius from either the low end or the top end of the actual plant itself to be able to plant it. That means that if you have sleet wheat grain and that needs to be in five degrees or lower and you're trying to plant it in, in like a 50 degree area, it's never going to plant. The pip just says that it's never going to grow here and so it's never going to plant the seed. So it will try to plant appropriate seeds according to the temperature range. So that being said, that's a second rule. That's a plus minus 30 depending on it's on top or bottom. The other rule is um, for whatever reason, pips are able to plant in a vacuum. I don't know why there's an air pressure rule, but then they circumvent that with a uh, vacuum rule. Uh, don't ask me why. I just know that they could do both. Uh, outside of that, you also have, so it's the plant rule, three plants in a zone, temperature rule, uh, gas bubble rule, vacuum rule. It's, it's a uh, temperature of the immediate environment so the ambient temperature so it's probably the gas or water not the tile on that tile where the plant's going to be so if you were to naturally plant 
on top of this phosphorite tile right here, where the coal is. Right? So you're planning on this. It's going to look on this tile, technically. On the ambient temperature. Not on the tile temperature. That doesn't matter. It's the ambient temperature, I believe. Plus minus 30. And then... Is there another rule? So we have those... So you have the tile range, three plant within the range, temperature, vacuum, gas pressure. I think that's it. I think that's it. So it's a set rule like that. I understand it, so I don't use a mod. I believe there's a mod on the on the uh, mod workshop that visualizes that for you, right? If you don't want to memorize it like I did. So the, when the mod came out, I already memorized it, so I never had a reason to get the mod. But yeah, it's a little bit convoluted. There's a lot of steps to it. There's a lot of things that checks. But yeah, I if if you want, the easier thing to learn is just the patterns. <laughs> Honestly, learning the pit planting patterns are a lot easier to learn. Because you don't have to think about the rules. You just have to understand that you have to do things in a certain way. And it'll work always in that way. Pit planting rules are simple. Every other. Or you do three, three. And you normally have a four space gap. And you do top to bottom. Right? Top to bottom. And then you do right to left. So you always do top right corner. Top layer at a time. Right to left. And then you do top. And then you do second. Right to left. Third right to left. And it's either one of these patterns. Every other, or you do three plants, three no plants, three plants, three no plants. Those are typically your two planting patterns that are the most efficient. Uh, exceptions for anything that plants upside down as well. Pattern changes because of the plant location in and of itself, it's going to be upside down. So yeah, pinch of pepper nuts, nosh beans, dash of salt vines. Those are going to be your upside down plants that you might have to worry about. The pattern for that is different. It becomes a five tile gap. And then it's still right to left, top to bottom. But yeah, very convoluted, or it can be. 43 seconds, nice. Uh, okay, thanks for the info. Now it makes sense why they plant so randomly with me. I'll take a look at the mod. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Memorize the man, feels bad. What's going on, you pick welcome in? I see you over there. I was uh, caught explaining something. Temperature of the tile atmosphere. You got it. There is a pit planting mod. Yep, he knows what I'm talking about. All right, nice. Got you guys. I got you guys. All right, we're going to need to build a new space fairer. And then 40 seconds, 9 seconds. All right, so when you land with this rocket, the reason why you have a floating engine is because of this. Come on, you're supposed to park. Here we go. So the rocket exhaust happens where the engine is. If your engine is up top, your rocket exhaust, in my case, it's all the steam right here, is floating. So it's not at the bottom. That steam would hurt us because we're so close to an area with an actual background right here that if steam gets into here, it's going to linger and then it's going to become water and then it's going to, you know, heat things up. And then if it touches the magma, you're know, screwed because the magma is going to keep it hot. So, yeah, that's one of the things that's kind of uh, weird about this. Building this is kind of weird as well. But uh, that's one of the benefits. Second is, well, spacefarer is right here. Your dupes can climb two tiles. So if you're planning your spacefarer at the bottom, as soon as you land, you can just hop in. So it's uh, save use from having to build ladders. This planet doesn't have meteor showers. Oh, you guys can't see that. Oh, Mamba, you're blocking everyone. This planet does not, this, this planet, there we go, does not have meteor shower. I said that like five times. So right here, we're, uh, you know, we, we know the situation. We know the situation. We fine. We fine. All right. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So what we got to do is swap the suits. We got to do Ravco. And then we got to do you pick. You pick your here, buddy. No meteor showers, man. We good. We good. 
Wait, what was that? How come you're not wearing your suit? What was that? Dude, what was that? You put it on and you took it off? That's some rude stuff, man. Put the suit on. What are you doing? There we go. What? What was that? Why is this glitched? Dude, why is this glitched? I don't like how the bin is not working properly. Are right, you pick man? Are you wearing a suit? I can't tell if you're wearing a suit. All right. So, Mr. Pip, we going outside. Move the Pip. It's time. All right, someone mine this is why we could do that right now. Please plant, please plant, please plant. No, what are you doing? Please plant. Please plant the Weez wart on this tile. This is the only natural tile that you could actually plant on. No, dude. Oh, it's Pi Day? Guys, happy Pi Day. What's everyone's favorite pie in chat? This Pip's name... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's planning! Come on, let's go! Chicken, ca uh, chicken cranberry and brie? Is that chicken pot pie? That's actually pretty good. Pudding pot... What the heck is this? No, what are you doing? Yo, that's illegal. Get him, boys. What are we doing? Get him. He's, he's doing something illegal. Oh, dude, you pick. Why are you sleeping? Get him. Hit him with the lasso gun. Hit him, dude. Hit him with the guns. He's doing the mad illegal stuff. That's right. What is this? What are you doing, man? What's this Pip doing? Mr. Pip, man, what are you doing? Dude! Oh, he's going back for the seat. Get the seat. Get the seat. That's right. You ain't planning nothing, dude. Wait, what? Oh, I was gonna say, how'd you get the seat? All right, man. Move him here. We gotta get this too. I mean, this pip's becoming a, a nuisance. <laughs> Pudding pie, I see you over there. That sounds good. Simple cherry pie. Oh man, I don't think I've ever had cherry pie before. Pumpkin pie, whipped cream. Oh, I'm not a fan of pumpkin pie, man. Pumpkin pie doesn't even taste like pumpkin. Wiltshire pie. I've never heard of that, dude. I have never heard of that, Jim. What that is? I come from a country where meat pies are the best, and the bakeries are 30 different flavors. Oh, that sounds bomb, dude. Meat, meat pie sounds bomb. Dude, come on, man. Just copper, man. The wart seed. It's cottage pie with baked beans. Oh, wait. Is it cottage pie? Is cottage pie and shepherd's pie the same thing? Cheesecake. Yo, man, that's cake, dude. That's not pie. That's close, dude. I see you over there. You know a whole pie has two pie? Wait, what? Stefan, what do you mean? Pecan pie is so good. Shepherd's pie. Cottage is beef. Oh, Shepherd's is lamb. Oh, that sounds actually kind of bomb. Taking bets with the pit plants. Dude, he's he's being. He's being. Like, he is not helping, man. Like, we're getting our sulfur. But he is not helping. Oh, <gasps> he's doing it! He's doing it! He's doing it! He's doing it! 
pizza pie. Yo, man, Cal Zones. I guess that counts. Build a door above them and lock them in that space. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we should have walled him. All right. He's got it, right? Come on. You pick is staring at him. Oh, he did it. Oh, there it is. All the radiation in the world. All right, y'all. I think we're good. Uh, all right. So we got a new thing to do. That is grub fruit seeds. <laughs> we're going to grab uh, critter eggs, like sweet eggs, grub grub eggs. We're going to be hunting this right now. It's going to be time. May we take him back? Yeah, he was being a little bit of a pain, though. We'll still take him back. All right, and then we got to hunt some seeds. Uh, that's over here. We do that. We do this. Mine the sand. Get the grub fruit. We do these two, these two, these two, these two, and then we do these two, get the grubfruit plant. We don't have anything down there. Uh, there's these right here that we could really just grab immediately. We want to go all the way to the top, grab those. Maybe grab some of the plants over here. And then, yeah, there's some on the right side as well. All right, nice. So now we are going to do this, do that, do this. All right, everything has power. So now this is going to be sulfur. All right, so we run it on the rail. Thirty-seven degrees. Wow, it's not that impressive, actually. Thirty-seven degrees, thirty-four. Not mad. And then we turn this on. All right, so we remove that. Uh, this is also cold, so I'm gonna do that, so that we get maximum radiation from the top. Oh, we can't, we can't dig that. We don't have the skill. All right, you pick. That's going to be you, buddy. Oh, it's going to be so tough. All right, we're just going to leave it there. It's fine. We don't need the extra radiation. <laughs> and we're just trying to bring home the seeds. All right, all right. There we go. The wart's actually working. Yep, yep. It's not bad. Christmas pie is good, too. There's turkey roast buried under mash. Oh, that sounds bomb. I imagine you put gravy on top. I see you guys. I see you guys. Ward in vacuum does indeed and the radiation. It's pretty good. Dude, I'm surprised no one said apple pie. I'm a sucker for apple pie, man. Apple pie is easily my favorite pie. Out of all the pies out there. I would say easily apple pie is my favorite. Apple pie is delicious. Alright, we have no power here again. Yo, man, never, never enough steel. We really got to put this on forever, I guess. Yeah, it's always a power issue here. I really need to get power and supplement that. All right, so they're sweeping that. A lot of areas we could mine here, but it's okay. We'll do a little bit of a trim here. Let this spill. Ooh, I don't want that on, actually. That might be a problem. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Hate to say, I have a fave, but I really enjoy blueberry white chocolate. Wait, what the heck? Blueberry white chocolate? That sounds like a muffin. You have that in pie form? What the heck? How the hell do you have that in pie form? <laughs> That's impressive, man. The stargazy pie. Is that is that made with starfruit? Is that made with starfruit?
No, it's corn and taters. What? That make no sense. <laughs> Yo, man, that make no sense. I guess it'd be like that sometimes, though. All right, the pips inside. They're gonna have a meal. I guess we don't really need to bring back all the seeds and stuff. Realistically, like Walu would be nice. It's not really something we need. We brought the pip back. It's all good. Alright, we'll cancel everything. Crew change. Let's go home. Yeah, everything should be fine. Oh, no! Oh, it touched the thousand degrees CO2. <laughs> Did we leave? No, we left. Oh. <laughs> Yo, they don't think it'd be like it is, man. But it do. This kind of sucks. Ah. Uh... I already launched to. I don't think it's a bad thing. The only thing that could be bad is if... I, I would want to go back ASAP, though. I, I would want to go back ASAP, 100%. I think, the, I think this right here is their saving grace. So the problem is, is that sulfur is heavier than water. That's actually what the problem is. Nothing else is actually an issue. So what I'm worried about is sulfur becomes liquid here, pushes the water, and it spills out this way. Even then, it shouldn't be too bad. I don't have anything over 100 degrees here. I think we'll be fine. Oh man, it's not within range. So these bubbles right there, oh, those bubbles are bad. I might be losing water to that. Oh, I am. Dude, that's really bad. So I've been deleting water like this. Oh, that's so problematic. Yeah, we're losing water. So the sulfur is liquefying, falling down, and then deleting the water. Oh, man. So this heat's coming in from this, the refined carbon right here. That's where all the heat's coming from, you guys are wondering. It's because the sulfur erupts on top of it. And then we get sulfur gas that way. Man, can't you intercept the heat for the turbine and so on? Or does it make no sense and something like that? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, you're talking about... Oh, you think there's a steam turbine here that's like absorbing... The, okay, so... Uh, this is more so a problem with the carbon. Not so much anything else. The the heat you get from this isn't worth it, so you would never actually want to put a steam turbine on top of this. Just because the sulfur is uh, going to be in liquid still. And you technically want to solidify into a solid. Because the more liquid you get, the more often you're going to have an instance where it sol uh, solidifies into a solid tile like this, and you're going to have to dig it and then lose half the mass. So you want to solidify it as fast as you can. So this was just a problem because of how we sealed it. I don't think a steam turbine makes sense here. So I don't know what you're looking at specifically. But yeah, I'm losing water as a result. Oh, it's so bad. Six tiles. Five. I should be able to immediately land the rocket. 
I should be able to immediately land the rocket. We're gonna we're gonna have to fix this right now. No, we're not gonna reload. We're gonna fix the problem. All right, so we're gonna move the refined carbon to here. Did you guys? Oh, that was a sweet wag. I was like, what do you guys just do, man? I was like, did you guys just bring in hot abyssalite, dude? Did you guys just do this? Oh, come on. <laughs> they can't do the job, okay. Uh, you pick. Oh, it's the other way. There we go. Alright, you're gonna do this, you pick. We're gonna force you out. Alright, that could fall down. Nothing bad's gonna happen with that. Actually, I guess we could... No, I don't want to move it anywhere else. Um, Realistically, there's no good place to put this. I guess we could put it here. It's not hot enough to boil anything here. All right, I guess I have to leave that there. All right, so now this is a vacuum again. And now our problem is not enough water. Okay, uh... I guess we do that. All right, and then we have to swap this guy's suit. Dude, the CO2 is starting to get pretty bad. All change like that. Help him out with the mice. Nothing hot here, right? 90 degrees seems to be the hottest. A lot of sand, though. Why are you picking up so less ice? Dude, what the fuck is this? Grams? This is a joke. Actual joke. It's gonna melt on the way there. It, yeah. Going to eat. Downtime, going to use toilet. Wouldn't it be better to use the move to command? Technically, no. Because temp shift, I mean, it, it probably would be in our case because you want to use the temp shift to immediately melt the ice that's actually what you want to do and by moving it there it doesn't really guarantee that the dupes will use the ice that's there we're still gonna have to pass back i think so it's one of those things where it's like maybe That will make the resource closer. But they don't actually care about proximity, though. <laughs> That's the problem with that. They they never actually consider the proximity. Like, you could have a bin next to your mealwood farm, but because if my dupe is here, and he's closer to the dirt that's over here, he's going to go backwards to grab the dirt before stopping by when he has to do the job. So having a bin next to the resource usually doesn't really help you out that often. Now, that only makes sense if you have an auto sweeper so that they could pull from the bin and start doing the jump. But yeah, the AI for this game isn't optimized for the supplies and delivery like that.
So it's like, I, I get you're coming from, because in, in a game like RimWorld, that com makes complete sense. But technically, that's not how this works. Alright, my dupes are being lazy, and I need this done. Y'all, man. Y'all in chat. Y'all is sleeping. Come on, y'all, wake up. Can y'all grab big amounts of ice? 81! How come you guys don't carry that much? They pick up all 400, okay. And it's melting because they're so slow. Dude, why do you deliver four to five times? I think we have memory leak too. That's also making the deliveries a lot worse. Like we shouldn't be having micro deliveries. Dude, what is wrong with you, you pick? What are your stats? How are you... How are you not carrying that, that much ice at all? 240. Oh, that's why. It's finishing the job. I was like, dude, you're carrying like 10 to 15 kilograms at a time. And then we got Ravko over here carrying like 400. I was wondering like if you had something weird, like you got noodle arms or something. All right, let's build it, boys. We need the layer of water here. Dude, you are slow. <laughs> Dude, you guys are slow, man. Goodness. Oh, I don't have the destination. Oh, we're not going to do that yet. Because I don't actually have a targeting beacon. Uh, let's go with the rocketry. Let's get the beacon right here. Let's make that out of steel. We are also going to need to power this. Alright, we're going to need this now. So that we get the loot back home. Angel hair pasta arms. I would believe it, man. That sounds about right. All right, let's go back inside. It's time to go home. It's time to actually go home this time. I'm just going to target it just in case. Aw, snap. 50 rads. Dude, we're not shooting the right way. We're not shooting the right way. You not put charge costume. That's 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 how it's supposed to be. So that's correct. Dude, it feels like we don't have water here. It's really just this tile though. So maybe it's fine. Should be okay. Should be okay. All right. So they're sending back home. We need the rad bolts. Yeah, that's gonna take time to charge. Made a mess. Oh, the toilet's jammed. Oh, snap. I forgot to unlock the toilet. Oh, dang. No. <laughs> Not like this. Clean it up, y'all. 
Oh, another one. Aw, oh, damn. Yo, man. Doesn't matter how far you're in your colony, you still make a mess sometimes. The dupes will find a way. The dupes will find a way. Alright, the water's coming out now. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna use this as toilet water for the uh, rockets. Stuff on that side. So this is gonna dump, right? And then we need to actually bop this so it flows through. From flowing through, it goes out the output, and then it goes into here. Uh, yeah, and we're trying to do steam temperature, so that's all fine. It's always good to lose fault. <laughs> Yo, man. You guys remember from last time, huh? Oh, this is ready. I guess we don't need to remove this, and for the strap, we could just keep it like that. I see you guys over there. I see you guys over there. No refined carbon. What? Uh, I'd probably put the kiln here then. Alright, so we're going to start getting the payloads from this planet. Once we get enough rad bolts. I want to see this in action, man. Oh, this is taking forever. You see the contents charge. I want to see this shoot. I want to see how the animation looks like. All right, 48. shoot oh dang pop pop okay shot two shots at the time damn they double tap it man yo the interplanetary launchers get there faster than my rocket yo that's rude dude we, we started first and we're gonna be last that kind of sucks <laughs> we're gonna be first, but we're gonna be last. Aw, oh, dude. Alright, it's coming back. Oh, it's already here! Wait, hold up! When this- didn't we just shoot? Wait, where did this come from? Yo, we already got loot, and I didn't even know. Alright, uh, let's see then. This design meant I was gonna do this, that. We do that. We bop this, that. We remove both of these. That's going to be the heat source up top. Oh, there's pee water here. We got you. We got you. We got you. That was the first shot from earlier. Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't think that shot. I didn't think that actually shot. Ah, that's cool. Then. That's cool. All right, so we're still dumping the water from here so that we get cold water this way. Ooh. I may want to do another water dump soon. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Also, dripping out water this way wouldn't be bad. All right, let's do this. Then we're gonna do that to that. Alright, we're just gonna drip the water here just to cool down the map in general. Once the water gets to the bottom, we'll mop it up, move it back up again. Classic strat. Alright, this is almost done dumping. I guess this is a lot of water. Alright, don't need that much. 
is that we could reconnect this and start using that. This is still halfway filled. Oh, he's an adult now. Nice. Have some power here. All right. So, yeah, it's going to start to drip. And then it's going to drip down at a lower temperature because we're going to just let it go as soon as we can. So the cold's going to get colder, and then hopefully it pushes down. Okay. All right, so this is done. How do you change the flow of pipes without dupe labor? Uh, change the flow of pipes without dupe labor. That is relative to how you do your pipe cutting. So, Bo, that's going to depend on your pipeline setup. What I'm showcasing is, I guess, pipeline mastery. So it's not going to flow uh, backwards. They're effectively both going to share this intake, right? Because I was overflowing before. So when they use the restroom, they're going to use water from this side and this side. They're both going to gravitate towards this for when I just cut that. So I'm using what's known as the disconnect tool you'll have at the bottom right here. If you can't see, I'll show you right now. Gotta remove Mamba. So right here, disconnect tool. The pipeline right here, you just move it over and cut it. And then that's what I'm doing. And then to connect it, we just do this. Since the pipes are already next to each other, I'm gonna cut this line so the pipeline mechanic allows us in. But then if I reconnect this, it stops and it goes backwards. And that's because of the pipeline mechanics. Now if I cut this, this bubble goes left. Everything else is waiting for that line. So once my dupes P use the restroom, this should actually grow smaller. But for the most part, the disconnect tool. If you understand the pipeline mechanics and how they want to do the intake and output and how overflows work, you could use that to your advantage a lot of times. It's pretty nice, to be honest. But yeah, don't know if there's anything specific you uh, want to ask for that. Let me know, though. If you do, I got you. All right, so next. One week to the game, never saw that tool. It's kind of weird. A lot of people wouldn't look for something like that, though. So it's, it's like, yeah, I could see why. All right, so we want to fly to here. We are going to be using the new rockets. No, we're going to use this one still. Okay, so let's ground this. Let's also remove the food. We don't need the triage. Let's bring back the Sweetle. All right, we want to do that. All right, now that we're getting sulfur, I'll also want to make a sulfur farm and make a payload opener set up. I guess we could put it in here. Okay, how much power is this? 120 that's not a lot we'll just attach it to the suit line okay i probably want a wheeze word up top so i wouldn't mind doing that here left shift d oh that is not the disconnect tool for me <laughs> can you show the filter tool menu filter tool menu this one the material overlay or this one the sweep this one filters out the items oh right here the tool filters right here so cancel, deconstruct, priority. So it's like you could bring up the overlay and it's deconstruct is only going to deconstruct the power. A uh, common one to do is go to deconstruct and do buildings. That way, when you deconstruct something like this, if I want to remove this platform, I do not remove the pipeline that's underneath. That way, it's only the tiles, right? Deconstruct the tiles, but not the insulated gas pipe. So that's a common one that I think is really helpful. Doing buildings, so you could do uh, just the tiles and not any of the things inside the pipeline. I think this works on ladders as well. So you could use the ladders instead of the pipeline again, or the power line. 
but uh, yeah, that's a pretty uh, good one. Deconstruct buildings. You have to watch out for that though, because if you leave it on, you might debate yourself, because you're going to click deconstruct and it's not going to register. Because uh, the building might not be considered a, uh, you know, might not be considered the, uh... I just lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh shit, it's not a building. There we go. It's not a building. I, I was, you know, man, ADHD, man, it's hard. <laughs> I was thinking and then I was not thinking and then I was like, wait, what was I thinking? Got a little confused. Nice, right, so we got the payload opener, boys. All right, so we need to shoot for this. Uh, the common strat's gonna be. That's gotta be the common strat. Just dump it off in our storage tile. Probably makes the most sense to do it that way. This is gonna be a wart suit. Zoom may be a good thing to show off too. This is base game, believe it or not. My zoom out feature. You can play like this. You can play like that. And I could actually play like this if I really wanted to. Look at this. I'm going to build the world's smallest ladder. All right, man. I got to cancel that. Be like that sometimes. But that is Alt plus S, also known as screenshot mode. You can find that by going to options, game, controls and you want to look for global screenshot mode alt plus s for me why do you put three doors for your storage place this is a decor reason uh anytime you have an item on the ground that you could sweep so you put inside a storage bin they're gonna be negative decor right minus 10 but you know what's the second thing about that they always have a one tile radius so, if you go into Decor Overlay and you sweep all your items with a dispenser here, all the Decor penalty is inside the doors, minus 500. The moment you're outside of the door, it's minus 12, so it's not as bad. So, I am storing all my items on a single tile. This is like millions of tons, millions of kilograms. And because of that, that negative 10, one radius, stacks up, right, with every different item you have. So we have right now like minus 500. So these doors do not allow access. So when a dupe actually goes through here, they have to go around. So, oh, I have this open. That should not be the case. There we go. So they go around. They never go through the doors. I probably spilled water earlier and they had to mop it up. But yeah, that's why you have the doors there. There's another strat where you could do the same thing and just dig into the ground. It's kind of like this instead. Right? So you put your bins here and you, you know, just put the items there. While that works, this allows you to grab items from the side. Oh, that actually means I should get my fire pole here. Uh, yeah, I'll probably want it on this side though, sadly. Item stacks, so you have items for like two coal piles, the two stacks count, yep. Different temperature usually is going to be the big uh, reason that's the case. Alright, we're going to do this. Let all the water drain. Alright, now that the water has spilled, let's mop it up. So we're absorbing the heat, dumping it back here. And then allowing us to do the thing. Okay, I forgot to uh, save these guys. They're on the bad schedule. So they're not actually eating. Alright, they'll be fine. Okay, we got the rocket right there. We're going to have to refill this up. And then we're going to have to get this ready to go to the other planet. Uh, let's move the pip out. You could go back. You go hang out in the meal hall, I guess. Alright, so we have a base value. This is pretty good. This is pretty good base value set. I'm actually fine with this. And then what I would want to do is pop that here, here. And then we have to turn this on, turn that on nice. This is no oxygen inside. All right, so we're going to have to charge our suits. All right, we're going to go here. We already can land. We know we're going to need steel because we have to repair the platform. And then we're going to mine some space underneath so that when the meteors hit, they actually just go through. 
And then after that, oh, they broke this. That's tough. We're going to have to try to get to here so that we could follow the path that the rover made. And then we'll continue. We're looking for the iron volcano. We're going to need that. So there's going to be the cobalt and gold volcano right here that's stacked. I might want to tame both of them for the memes. And then with that, we could potentially do something with that. But we'll have to see. We will have to see. We would effectively probably spill them both here. And then uh, just have that tame both. Has to be two steam turbines most likely. Gonna have to look for the iron. Dude, don't say that, man. It's more likely on this side. The bottom of the map is right here. Damn, dude. It could be right underneath. And that would be perfect. You get all three metal volcanoes stacked up vertically. Dude, you could just drip them into the same room. That's so good. That's actually just so good. I wouldn't complain about that, right? It'd be awesome, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. All right, we're going to have to come back, though, to check that out. New printables. Uh, we may have a need for a farmer soon. Rocket tree ranching. Rock fan. Plant murderer can't get this guy. We don't need it, you pick. We don't need it. We don't need it. You, you don't understand the strategy that we're trying to utilize. That's why. Okay. I think we do grab this guy. I will right, we'll grab him. But yeah, we don't want the suit charger. We don't want that. It's not what we want. Okay, so grub fruit. Fifteen to fifty. Yeah, we don't want the checkpoint. We don't want the checkpoint. Would starting with the tier 2 skill be worth it? Counting it be random? I feel like that's a very specific case. And while it can, it also could be worthless. I was trying to figure out what charge cost him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charge the suits. Charge the suits. So while we have the lockers, we don't have a checkpoint. We don't want the checkpoint. Checkpoint's bad. The checkpoint forces you to take off the suit. That's the reason why it's bad. That's good in a home base environment, but that's bad in a rocket environment. Because what happens is that if you have a worn out suit, it's bad times. Have a good one, you pick. We'll see you next time. Rest wall, rest easy. All right, seal two. Oh, this would be why a smog slug would be kind of nice. <laughs> This would be kind of yeah, kind of nice to have a smog slug. Uh, this is 15 kgs. That's really bad, too. All right. I guess we could do this. We're going to have to do a meme strat. And then I think we actually take over this area. It's cold right now. And I honestly don't mind it. But it's 15 to 50. We put it anywhere. We put it here. It's going to be rough, yo man. Good luck, savage. Sometimes, man. It's all in the dice. Oh, I never made the refined carbon. Uh, right here. Not a none. All right, then we'll get steel and power again. Oh, that's tough. Oh, man. We need the refines. I guess we can make some iron for now. Just to get some uh, power in here. Keep skill point. Yeah, tier two skills 
are, or any are good to be honest. Starting with the extra skill point minimum, skill scrub, you keep two skills. Keep skill point. It is beneficial. It's just one of those things where it's like, man, it could be really good. At the same time, it really depends on the circumstance. All right, we will, oh, this is filled up. Let's cut the line. And then let's cut that. We gotta dump the steam again, which is okay. These need suits. Okay, this is probably releasing, which is bad. And then I probably need this building here. Oh, this is this is pretty good. Uh yeah. And then I would need this. And then I would want to dump that. Let's do this. And then no food here. Nice. Do you get that iron farm up and running or find it? Nope. We are going to be going to there today. So we found a gold volcano and a cobalt volcano. And then I think this was natural gas. I forgot. Oh, it's a one. If it's a one, it's likely copper, maybe. I forgot what this was. Gold? Oh, another gold. Yeah, we don't need a second gold. This is a critter flux. So yeah, we have to find the iron right now. Have to store one metal tile inside the rocket. Yeah, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. All right, we got that. It's charging, good stuff. And then we need some power here. There we go. Uh, power should be off here as well. Oh, you're building in the corner, I see. Good eye, geek, good eye. This guy's correct. Alright, so we're gonna basically run this pipeline as a carbon skimmer and just dump the water outside. The water should auto dump here. It should auto dump. Yo, oh no, this is. I don't have this. There's gonna start pooping in here. Aw, oh, come on, man. I couldn't ground the rocket. I hate it when these stealth poop inside the rocket, man. It's such a bad time. All right, get that. Construction nine, we're good. We got power. All right. Correct one. And we're gonna need extra water today. I know, man. Stealth. The quietest poop, dude. You're gonna be alone inside the rocket. Like, no one's gonna be inside with you, man. So it's gonna overflow, but then it's gonna grab the water as it needs it. Alright, so it actually just dumps the water. Nice. Hey, Gorbash, coming in with the 19 months. Thank you so much for the 19 months, Gorbash. I see you over there. Welcome back to the city. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the email to join guys at free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Gorbash, how are you, man? I see you over there. All right, this is too much oxygen, man. I just need to get rid of the CO2 right now. All right, we're gonna let this... Oh! The water doesn't dump. I thought it dumps. Uh, what if I did this? And I do that. No, it doesn't do anything, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, that means then I gotta wait for someone to use this. Oh, I thought that used to delete the water. Actually, it did use to delete the water. <laughs> I think they just patched it. 
they actually patched it. I'm actually kind of impressed. Uh, let's make a temp dump then. Oh, let's make it out of obsidian so it doesn't actually ever break. And then steel vents. We're just gonna dump the water out. Feels bad. All right, this is almost ready. Steam is topped off, great. We're gonna get some more water. It's gonna need a little bit more power. Been, do, uh, been doing very good, thanks. Hey, good to hear, good to hear, Gorbash. Always good to hear when the people are doing well. We just got our sulfur geyser tamed, and then right now we're thinking about where to put the grub fruit area. So the grub fruit area is also going to be nearby where the Sweetle Farm should be. And I think that makes the most sense. Now the thing is, is that the grub fruit farm has a wider range. I might use this area for bedrooms. That makes more sense. And then our kitchen is right here. We could move the grub fruit farm on this side, which wouldn't be bad at all. They live here, eat here, do farming here. And it's not going to be a large farm. Okay, we could set that up, I guess. Uh, a couple things we got to do then. We got to do that, that, that that we're gonna open this up mine this completely out we'll mine this as well mine jump and then we'll let the gases kind of evaporate let's trim this uh and then we gotta make the jump oh all right we're gonna want that Try to mine out as much as we can, just to create space. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we are going to put the farm right here. I think that makes a good amount of sense. So that means we potentially might ranch nearby. The ranch doesn't have to be full size, technically. Alright, so that means I think we're done with the water spill strat. I don't think we'll ever do that anymore. Okay... This is going to be toilet water now. Going to be doing some food changes. That's going to be going there. We're going to fire pull up as well. Let's get this mopped up. Oh, they can't reach that. Oh, that sucks. They'll need that. Oh, the water. It's going to block out. Damn, look at those hot bubbles. The water is going to uh, block out all the gases. <laughs> uh still climb up to the top all right let's mine this out mine that out we just want better flow don't want to stop any of it all right we're gonna do that to climb all the way down technically I could be able to do this no, I gotta do it like that. No, I can't, I can't, because I could stand here to hit the corner. Alright, nice. Let's continue with the dig. We want to remove as much as we can when we can. Alright, let it just off gas. Dude, we have so much food. This is actually kind of insane now. Uh... Let's allow everyone to eat meal ice. I don't think they will, though. Alright, we can remove that. Let the seal to drop. Remove that as well. This is likely going to be... My branch. 76, 75, 71, 8, 12... So that's what, 96, 88, 80, 72? And what's this? 72. 
Yeah. Technically. We just gotta do some tile changes. Okay. Could compost the meal. Oof. We could. We we technically could. Aw, oh, they're moving heat over here with the igneous rock. That's tough. All the cold energy is dissipating as well. That's fine, though. I also probably want to mine through that. So, pole goes up. Ladder goes up. We will remove the mealwood soon. But yeah, it's mad cold. The cold energy is nice, though. Food's all hot, though. Oh, we have to mine this before we could actually build out the rest. Grams. Okay, so I guess we're just mining this out. There's always going to be stuff up here, so let's just mine this down. And then I know that we want this line to be the ceiling. Like, just in most cases, that's going to be how that looks like. Let's try to set it up. Alright, this is just a dig command, just uh, dig as much as we can. So we are going to do... Oh, I never analyzed the geyser. I don't actually know the average. Okay, we'll come back. So we'll analyze the geyser. The aqua tuner is still not even in steam yet because it's barely erupting. Which makes sense. This was ice cold to begin with. It's going to take time to warm up. Disabled by automation grid. Okay, so we're going to need an analysis. Yo, I didn't know it does that. Damn, cleaning rails? I didn't know there was an idle thing like that. What the heck is this? Yo, man, just coming in with the duster. Making sure we got the best accuracy in the business. I'm so glad Sulfur is secure again, man. We get nice food now. We get the nice good food. Every five shots or something, it cleans. Ah. I kind of like that. <laughs> Idle animations like that. It's pretty cool. I'm a fan of that. Sulfur is ice cold, keeping the water cold and the rambled energy low. Alright, we're gonna have to come back to analyze this because we need to know how much we're gonna get. Uh oh yeah, that was supposed to happen. I guess we could go by right now. So we have Ravco is gonna drive. And then we need a scientist. Alright, who's gonna be the scientist of the day? So it's gonna be field research. Timo D. Mayer. They are not actually researchers. Okay. Alright, Susumu, it's gonna be you, buddy. I believe Susumu was very smart. Alright, crew change. Go in. Launch. Alright, that's not happening yet. Oh! We're getting shot. Oh no, we're actually fine. There's food inside. Yeah, there's food inside. I forgot about that. All right, Ravco, Susumu, there's oxygen inside. We're good. Ah, uh, we're taking the ice. Oh, the hatches are awake. Ah, uh, let's wrangle everyone here. The hatches should be, oh, they're gonna get put here. Feels bad. If I could wear a plumber hat, and I'll do the science too. <laughs> Someone's already doing it, man. Don't worry. Someone's already doing it. Alpa got stuck, but now he's free. And then I probably want to mine this. Let's 
let that off gas, build this out. So I think we're gonna want to do drop off a brush, and then we're gonna do three, and then it's going to be far, or it's gonna be door airflow. This is gonna be that, that. And then how do I wanna do this? I guess we could use this room for the evolution. Because then this is fine now. And then this is gonna be grub fruit. And then this is going to be Sweetles. This is going to be the highest priority. I might need more food bins, because this is uh, starting to max out. <laughs> starting to max out the food. Mm, this is probably okay for us to do that. Let's get the top row down. Uh, here, here, let's do building so we don't bop the insulated pipeline. Still building this out, that's fine. I do want to sweep these layers. And then from here. Alright. Just want to make sure we could mine as much as we can. It's all sweeping, trimming the lower layers. And then technically we could start trying to cut into it. That's technically really good because we get to mine this. Or uh, build out this insulated from underneath so we don't get stuck. Then we would probably want to sweep this as well. This has got to be a nine. And then we need to start setting up a sweeper setup. Uh, so let's see. I think all of the eggs are always going to be put inside the box, whatever is inside the box. I'm thinking we might want a larger food storage than this. So this is BBQ, 100%. This is pickled meal, whatever we have. And this is pickled meal, whatever we have. All the other BBQ... That's here is BBQ that will never rot. Okay. Hey, D Mayor coming in. What's in the box? Do you really want to know what's in the box? We open the payload and we have sulfur. That's actually what we have in the box. <laughs> Wasn't actually that impressive. Was not actually that impressive. Just sulfur, man. You know how it is. Just trying to, you know, grow some plants. Nice. Alright, so let's get the Sweetle Babies. Time to move them out. And I think we will utilize this system. Uh, yeah, we'll do it on a 4 setup. So I'm thinking if that's the case, this is all going to be refrigerators. Which makes me want to move power kind of like that. And then we'll set this up like that. Yeah. Because we are going to extend this out for the uh, refrigerators. It's going to be a weird fridge setup, but it's going to work. CO2 is a problem again. We can turn this back on. Start crushing the gas. Dude, this is getting cleaned. And then all the water's coming out and getting rechilled. Nice, nice. 
This is getting built out. We're letting this air out. Good progress. Uh, let's go under here. We don't want to open this. Oh, oh, lag. Okay, we're fine. Yo, what geyser was this? Oh, infectious oxygen. Seem legit. Yeah, we're never going to open that. Never going to open that. And then this part. Down, down. Technically, this works. And then we mine this down. And then we make this jump as well. Ceramic geyser. Technic, true. If we ever need ceramic man or clay, that'd be the way to do it. Are we there? Oh, we're there. Uh, so... We have to go here, here. This is going to Susumu. You're analyzing, man. Let's go Susumu. Don't get shot. Don't get shot. He will get toasty surroundings before he takes damage. But it should be around 300 degrees for that to happen. Like, he should be able to tank this. Oh, I forgot to turn on the mama cam. There's the babies. All right, looks like he's having no problem. The steam's having a decent time. It's not hot enough for the turbine to turn on, though. Oh, and if everything turns on, it's too much power. Oh, wow. Is that real? This is always going to be on. I guess the thing that might not turn on is going to be the sweeper, but then I need two things off. So the aqua tuner is actually potentially kind of bad. Oh wow, that's potentially kind of bad. This is always on. This is on sparingly. The loader is always going to push if there's free space. Oh, so this is usually not on at the same time this is on. And if this is not on, this is not on. I guess that's the safety. The safety net. Because this has to shoot, which uses up the power, but then it stops working when both of these turn on. Which should mean I'm safe. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. They're handling the business. Can't be mad. Alright. We want to do this, and then we are going to ladder up here. Let's go. Let's do the bottom first, and then we want to do the inside. Oh, they got that sweep done. Uh, yeah, I could mine this then. And then we'll just pick this up from the bottom. Nice. Alright, there's nothing here that's actually hot. And everything here is very cool, so... Actually not too worried about this, we just gotta get rid of the gas. Have to mop up some of the water. Draco is outside lost. This guy's lost. Alright, alright. Doing good, doing good. I don't know if we need more glass. I'll, I'll think about that. And then this is built. Gotta get rid of this. Yeah, we can build that there. Build these. This is... All right, we will actually watch someone do this. Ghost Rider coming in. I see you over there, Ghost Rider. All right. Oh, perfect. 300 grams. All right, let me get some water now. There is water on the ground. Good stuff. Alright, once we get food, we're going to want metal, and then we also want power. So we're going to need a power resource. We could actually try to do the ethanol chain and bring back some arbitraries and use that as a power source. That would actually work. Realistically, though, I kind of want to... 
just send home resources from a geyser. Uh, no heat for power. None of the geysers here are going to be usable. Oh, I can't use this. <laughs> it's part of the challenge. Can't use it. <laughs> so we won't be able to use that. And then, let's see. I could send back the natural gas. I could send back the hydrogen. There's a lot of water here, potentially. And then I don't want to use anything on this planet. We Why can't we use it? And which one is it? We can't use any geyser on the starter planet. So that's technically on the starter planet. So we're just going to have to seal it up. <laughs> that's really it. Not so much that, uh, yeah, it's part of the stipulations. Be like that sometimes. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. All right, so we'll be able to sweep this now. Mine all of that. This is no longer needed. Trying to make sure we get all the stuffs. This is this is a geyser. I will try to mine this open. All right. I might just keep this here, but I'll mine the uh, sides for this. This is not bad. We just got to make sure we uh, mop up some of the water and we'll be okay. Because we got to allow this to off gas. Auto save. Don't touch anything. All right. Good stuff. We will take the... Ooh, everyone here is bad. I don't even need the plastic. Evening to all seats. Going on Mean Hatter Meanderer. I see you over there. Hello? Can you hear me? I see you over there, man. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. All right. So this is 1632.4 grams per second. So we're going to take that value. We're not going to take decimal. 1632 because we want to round down. Multiply by 600. And then we want to divide that by 1,000. So I get 979 kilograms on average per cycle. Is that correct? This is a 5.7. Yeah, that's, that's counting everything. So that's 1.632 times 600. That's 979. Yeah, that's correct. Wow, we have a lot. 979. Yeah, so that average is going to be what we're going to run this design off of. So it's going to be a good average. Uh, we are probably good to leave. There's nothing here that's a problem, right? If anything, we could just grab the sulfur. <laughs> Yo, man, why not? Yo, man, let's go grab some sulfur, y'all. Let's go have some fun. Alright, just grab 20 tons, bring it home. Y'all know how it is. Alright. Just gonna grab some sulfur. They're gonna do their thing. Ravco needs the uh, suit change. Ravco, we gotta get a new suit so you don't get wrecked. All right, should be good. All right, so how much is the sulfur plant? This is 10 kilograms, even the evolved one, yes. So 10 kilograms per cycle, and then we're gonna look at the Sweetos themselves. Okay, so they're 20 each. We're not gonna feed the uh, Grub Grubs. Okay, that's not bad. So let's do some math back at home. We have 979 worth that we could use on average every day. We are gonna be holding 72. Divide that by 12, that's 6. So that's going to be 6 Sweetles at most. 
Right? No more than that. We have exactly six here and everyone's happy. Alright, that means that... Six times 20 is 120. Which means we have 85 plants we could grow. We could do some supplemental stuff. As well. I will consider that. I'll probably want to remove this as well. And put a solid tile there so that we could open this up. So let's say that we want to work this backwards. And I know this is going to be a lot of food, so we don't want to overindulge. <laughs> uh, let's see. Rub fruit seed. This is not the evolved one, though. So this is the one we'll end up with. 2,000. So this one only shows 800. But we're going to get 2,000. So this is 2,000 every 8 cycles. Okay. So that means I need 4 plants. Oh, but then we make calories, right? From the sucrose. Every time we do uh, preserves, we generate 400 calories. We could argue that that's going to be rounded down. And then that's going to be our uh, plus amount. So, dude, we could do 80 plants. Jesus Christ, man. That's so much food. 80 plants. We need four plants per dupe. We could, we could hold 20 dupes just off of grub fruit. And that's without cooking it. And then cooking it gives us 20% buff. So, we would effectively have 24 dupes. Dude, that's exactly my colony size. Dude, that's actually really insane. That's exactly my colony size. Alright, there's a good chance then we ladder all the way up. Because I'll probably have to go to the top for the grub grubs, and we gotta drop them off into here. I think this means we have to maximize... Yeah, this might mean we have to maximize... How many plants we could fit in here. I don't mind that, actually. Don't mind that at all. Alright, it's gonna take forever to off gas. But this is not a lot of chlorine. I guess getting it into the base is kind of a travesty. Because we don't have any chlorine anymore inside the base. Maybe we should try to have that just get removed. Alright, we could try that. Let's get some pumps out. Power would be kind of random. Uh, if the Aqua Tutor isn't on, we could just run this on there. So that means we'll just do it like that. Do that. How are we over here? So this is done. We're going to try to bring home some extra sulfur just because. Dude, they're bringing home nothing. These guys are mad slackers. Dude, a lot of the sulfur is actually here. 28. I should actually try to monitor this. 5.7. I wonder if we're getting enough sent home with a launcher in time. I wonder how much of that is actually the problem. Cool energy. This is cold now. Alright, so we could do this again. Start cooling this down, which is going to be nice. CO2... Yeah, okay. I probably want to put the door crusher on the bottom. That way it's more efficient. But it's still working, so we'll leave it like that for now. 1300. Yeah, this is all CO2 still. It's getting cold though, which is kind of nice. 
All the energy from here is gone, though. Ah, the kiln's hot. Oof. Bad stuff. So we are sending the stuff back. We are filling up. Dude, Susumu man, we need you working. This ain't bad, though. And I'm surprised no one's got shot. You would imagine someone would get shot because they're dupes. Always lucky, though, I guess. And they're working hard right now. Nice, nice, nice. Oil wells, I am counting them. Typically, I wouldn't want to say that you shouldn't have to, but I'm going to be counting them. So it's going to be a little awkward because of that, I guess. Grab the sulfur. All right, we should be good. All right, let's go. Home. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. Home. All right, so next time we are going to... Oh, there we go. Bring the glass to get more solar panels. I don't think we might need, might not need to do that though. So far, it seems like it's gonna be all good. It doesn't seem like there's been power issues yet. And I think it's primarily because the aqua tutor almost never turns on. For now, it seems okay. For now, it seems okay. How often does a launcher launch? Uh, let's actually try to see this. This launches every 30 bolts. So, one shot a cycle. So, 200 kilograms a cycle. Is that actually a lot? Oh, man. Is that actually a lot? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's enough. Because each shot's 200 kgs. And then we just get that delivered. I wish it was more, to be honest. 200 is not a lot. But yeah, we get 33 per cycle right here. So every cycle we get one shot on average. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, it's only 200 a day. Do we make a lot, though? Dude, that might not be enough. You know what we might do? We might have to put a second Wii's Ward here. Oh, that's going to suck. Because I would have to uproot this Wii's Ward. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would have to come back next time. So that we could double the amount of charge we got. We don't have enough uh, rad bulk charging here. So it's going to be two wards, I think. Luckily, we have two wards right there. Yeah, it's not enough to actually keep up. We didn't actually calculate that. That's, that's technically my fault, though. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. It'll be fine. And then once we get that running, it's going to be okay. And our food issue is going to be solved completely once that happens. Alright. Let's help out the pumping. Now, this seems weird. This is not even locked, but we're pumping it out. Let's actually seal it up first. I was wondering about the launcher versus using rockets to bring back sulfur. Uh, I would say that if you could automate it, the launcher is going to be better. Because the problem with the rocket is that you need to pilot it. And that's kind of sketchy to automate. Because there's no... I mean, there is kind of a way. You would have to use a fridge, I guess. There is a way to technically do it. But it's a lot easier with the launcher. And that only thing you have to think about is just make sure you get enough radiation. And then power... They should be good, right? 
Oh, no, yeah, we should be good on power. Yep, there we go. We'll get the vacuum soon enough. Not bad, not bad. Sweeping. Base still has a little bit of warmth. But we're finally cooling it down. Dude, this took forever to cool down. And there's no more water, too, for the Aqua Tuner to chill. Mm, I'll, I'll need more water, though. I'll likely just pull it off of here. That's such a weird setup. I'm gonna have to reverse the bridge. <laughs> it's gonna be such a weird setup. I'm lucky my Sulfur Geyser is on the second planet, so I'm just teleporting it back. Just need to start cooling it better soon, though. Oh, I see, I see. If you need help cooling your Sulfur, the what you would probably want to add on, D Mayor, if you have this design, is put... Uh, you could do two things. You could do metal tiles on the bottom layer, or you add some metal tiles onto the side and run radiant into the side. Because once you run the rail through the metal tiles, the heat transfer to the sulfur directly is going to be the fastest. Problem is, is that you don't want that for the entire tank, because it's going to mean that your heat's going to be inconsistent. Uh, having the water makes it so that the sulfur comes out at the same temperature. So you still want the water. The metal tiles, though, would directly impact it. And then if you have the temp shift plates, that means that the metal tiles are going to cool down again because of the water. That might be what you're looking for. But, uh, yeah. You could do that at the end as well. Or, uh, you know, have it right before it leaves. Do a separate box. But, guys, I think this is going to be a great spot for us to ramp things up for the night. Gonna get this transition of sulfur. We're gonna have the uh, grub grub soon. And then we gotta go to the metal volcano planet. That's gonna be a fun time. And then we're gonna need power. I don't know if I want to do arbor acorns. I don't want to. But I am gonna try to probably tap a geyser. The metal is gonna be nice, but I think it's gonna be like natty gas and hydrogen. From this side, we could grab Natty Gas and it'd be automatic. We can't send back the steam. That doesn't really work. But yeah. Oh, with the Rocky got back. Nice. But guys, thank you guys for hanging out with the day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Sulfur is good. We should have the new nice Grub Grub. So instead of having Meal Lice minus one, we'll be able to take plus eight morale food to the space travels. That's going to make managing the morale a lot easier. Since we're going to get 8 morale from the Grove for Preserves. Good times. So, it's going to be time, boys. Time to get that saving. <laughs>